Hello. I am. I was. I was trying to figure out my computer issues. And I found what, what the issue was. I don't have any of my save files. Um, hi. I'm doing really great today. How are you? No, out of my face. I hope you're doing good though today. How's it been? How's been the world? I think it snowed earlier today, which in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, why? It got really cold. And I think it snowed. I know it snowed yesterday, but I don't remember if it snowed today or not. It was quite alarming. Oh, here's all my save files. I knew I backed up everything. But which one do I put in first? Which one's the oldest? Hold up. Oh, I can't tell they're all the same date. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Everything's the same. I hate it. Everything's the same. You're a little tired. You worked from 10 to 4 today. It was a bit busy. I bet. Honestly, I think like around this time it is pretty busy. Like January. It's almost February, so you know. End of the month shopping. And Amanda Chapman, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing this right because I have no idea. It might be right. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know if I installed my safe files correctly. Uh, you're getting ready for our city's football game this weekend. Ooh, if we win, we're going to the Super Bowl, which is crazy. That is crazy. I haven't watched the Super Bowl since two years ago because I don't understand football. And also, Raven Queen, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. And you're doing all right. You had a bad cold. I hope you feel better. Having colds are not fun. I had a sore throat today from yelling all day, <laughs> which is not great. It wasn't really yelling. I was singing musical show tunes all day. And that is something that you shouldn't do. So, yeah, it's been one of those things, one of those days, you know, all the gossip, all the tea. So I'm going to be drinking tea afterwards, uh, after string, that's for sure. And Natalie, welcome in, welcome in. Today we're going to be um, playing The Sims with Evil, which I'm so excited. I haven't played it in a while since last year, so... We'll see how that thing goes, you know? How the audition go? Was that today? No, so I'm still like, I'm still like preparing for the lines for the audition. Um, it seems to be going great from what I've read so far. Um, I'm probably going to audition for it uh, maybe this weekend, maybe tomorrow. Um, probably after our, our, after our Among Us stream. If not, then like probably Sunday, most likely, or Monday. I don't know. But so far, so good, though. So far, so good. From what I've read, it seems like they're great people, great people to work with. And so hopefully, crossing all the fingies, it'll be great. And I get the roll. <laughs> Misfit and uh, Primrose, welcome in. Your phone's at 9% and finishing up work. Ooh. Okay, we'll be here. Don't worry. Is my game going to open? There we go. Um, but I'm doing really good today. Thank you all for asking. I had a very chill day. I worked on a speed build. It's for our shell challenge. And I still forget to, uh, you know, work on that for the video. But hey, slow day. I was watching a new Korean show on Netflix. It's been all right. Had a crazy night slash morning. The entire city's power went out for three hours. At least it was like, like, like pitch black dark, like in those dark hours. That's still crazy. So it's been a little bit crazy here. That's not fun. Usually I don't go to bed until like maybe one o'clock. Oh my God, is it gonna work? But so far so good though. So far so good. Okay, all of my save files are here. I don't... Oh. 
Okay, I found it. Um, and God Gil, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell in this fine evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you in the ward. Today is a day of simming with the pirates. And I'm so excited because I saw my friend Kayla play this on stream. And I was like, wait, I haven't played this game in like, I don't know, since 2018 was the last time I literally loaded up this game. It was probably a long time before. I think I played this like in 2020, maybe 2019. I don't know. It's just been a minute since I last played. And I honestly am so happy. Today's Friday. We're playing Sims with Evil. It's just a time to be alive, you know? It's a time to be alive. And Behunt's a welcome in. Oh, I know what I was going to look up earlier. But welcome in. I think there's an ad playing at the moment. You have one minute left. Yeah, it's almost over, besties. I'm not starting until the ad is over. So we haven't missed anything. Oh, you're doing great. Today is your birthday. Well, happy birthday, bestie. Happy, happy birthday, God Gil. And so far, nothing has gone wrong. That's good. That's good. Because we can't have anything happening bad on a birthday. And a uh, cat girl, cat, welcome in. How are you doing today? Thank you for the follow. Oh. Oh. Thank you for the tier one sub. For the first time, tier one sub. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And Cassandra, welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, You played it last week when Cynthia did. It's very funny and very chaotic. It's so good. But can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new sub. And also happy birthday to God Gil, because today is their birthday and birthdays are always fun to celebrate with the community. You know, these days are days of hype, love and party. And maybe the pit of darkness. <laughs> it was really dark outside. It was creepy. Oh, I bet. With no lights outside, it's creepy. Especially down the lake. When I looked outside, it was just darkness. Oh, no. <laughs> it reminds you of the walking dead. Oh, lordy, Lou. Oh, gosh. I feel like that would be crazy. Like, uh-uh. No. Nah. No, I'm not going outside. If I saw somebody, like a shadow at like 3 a.m. where the power was out. I'm like, uh-uh, nope. I'm not going outside. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I will stay inside for the rest of my life. I will not do it. <laughs> and uh, Nail Nem, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell. We're playing The Sims of Evil today, actually, which I'm very excited. And Santa Fe, thank you for the host. And you're welcome, God Gil. Uh, I need your help with uh, Spirit Fair. I just got the game because I saw you were playing it afterwards in the first quest and I can't return to my boat. What are you playing on at the moment uh, for Spirit Fair? Because I haven't been on Twitter all day. <laughs> if you tried to tweet to me, I was not on Twitter. Well, I was, but I wasn't like, you know, on there, on there. The Switch. That's a recent, like, that's a recent thing they added to, uh, because... They didn't add Spirit Fair to the Switch until like later in the year. So that was like the most recent thing that they did. And I looked up some stuff actually about Spirit Fair just because like I wanted to know what the game was like all about and stuff so I can kind of get some more information. And I know that a lot of people have been having issues with the Switch with Spirit Fair with like loading and crashing. And I feel like the only solution that I could probably give you is like quit the game and then reopen it and see if that works or like uninstall the, un uninstall the game and then reinstall it. That usually works for most people. But if that doesn't work, I would try and contacting, um, uh, contacting the, the uh, what's it called the developers on Twitter. That way you can get more of like a direct answer from them who made the game. Cause that's usually what happens. Usually there's crashing and like loading issues with the game. I think it's this one. What? Why can I not? No, I don't care. Stop. Let me play what I want to play. There we go. Thank you. But yeah, hopefully that helps uh, cat girl. Cause that's weird. Cause I haven't, haven't had any issues on mine. Cause I only play on PC. 
I don't play on the Switch, so I'm not always like familiarized with like other, you know, platforms. I also love the. I also love that I get an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen every year on your birthday. I'm weird and I hate regular cake. I mean, hey, it's totally okay. I love regular cake because regular cake is tasty to me. I don't want the tutorial. When you don't play this game for 84 years, it makes you like saying, here's a tutorial. I'm like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. I, uh, I was freaked out going downstairs in the main floor trying to find a flashlight, which none of them worked. A point of no return. That's scary. Oh, we really haven't done anything with this castle. Lord Jameson. I'm sorry, excuse me? Wait a minute, where's my Shrek save? I want to play with Shrek. Give me Shrek. I don't know which one it is. I think it was this one, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, and Jay is welcome in. You love The Sims and Evil. I probably will be quiet making dinner while you while you watch. All good, all good, all good. No, that's the wrong one still. That's not my Shrek save, unless it is. Slides and developers are Thunder Lotus. Exactly. So if you're having any issues with Spirit Fair, I will contact Thunder Lotus, which is their Twitter handle and also their website too. <laughs> so that should help. I think it was, was it this one? I don't know. Yeah, that's what their name is. Thunder Lotus. I hate being in the dark even as an adult. Oh, same. Being in the dark is kind of scary and concerning. Like, I don't want to be in the dark. I don't like the dark. The dark is freaky. Yeah, this is not... I don't know what happened to my Shrek save then. Oh, well, we'll start from the beginning with the other one that I had from 84 years ago. Oh, to the well. But also, new. how are you doing today? Welcome in. You made yours. Uh, Phil Laurie from The Magicians. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Lord Jameson. If it's not, well, what can I do? Actually, where is my pub? <gasps> no. Wait, what? That's Sims 4. What is CO? <gasps> no. My other save files are gone. Wait, what's that? No, that's not it. That's a vlog. Oh. Hmm. You know what? We'll just restart it. I want to start anew. I want to start anew. I did. Okay, we're pl we're going to be playing that game in like two weeks. I've been dying to play that game for ages. Literally for ages. It was re It looks really, really cool. I'll look up the notice and if reinstall doesn't work. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool. But yeah, I think that's how you spell it, Witchy Woods. Cause like it's like um it's kind of like Sims with Evil combined with like Stardew Valley type things. And it looks so amazing. You won't be here long gonna finally watch Encanto. Ooh. They just put the soundtrack out on Spotify and other like listening platforms, of course. And I think that uh, the soundtrack is just so good. You're going to love Encanto. You're going to love it so much. Like, honestly, Bruno, we don't talk about Bruno, is the best song ever. It's been snowing all day today, and I don't think it's ever going to stop. I feel like it's going to stop at some point, you know? I also want to move everything over, but that's just a lot. And also, dude, hello. It does look so good. I want to see. Let me do something real quick. Like these two things. Oh, not that. This. Mm. I have. I realize I have a lot of things on my screen that you don't see. And I'm just like, what is all of this? <laughs> I'm heavily confused half of the time with my own setup. Like I said, I haven't played this game forever. I'm going to put myself down here. Right there. 
and then I'm going to move some stuff around. Here. And that is all up here. So I'm going to put that right there. I think we're fine now. Okay, good. We're good. Anyway, we're going to start our new matriarch. Besties, if you want to play this game, it is on Origin. <clears throat> I do recommend... I do recommend it though, because like it's one of those games that particularly you wouldn't think would be so chaotic and crazy, but it is. It's a spin-off version of The Sims 3. So if you play The Sims 3, it has like a similar vibe of The Sims look Sims 3-ish, very alpha-like, open world. However, you're kind of enclosed in your kingdom. And there's like these quests and these backstories that you can do that you can like progress through. And there's like a smithery, a doctor, you know, other things like that. And I want to make a new one, but it's really, really cool. Like, look at this. Hello. Look at that Sim. He's not potato like. He's not a hot potato on a Sunday afternoon in the winter time. No, no. Oh no, you're all good, all good. You're rubbing and hugging your, your cat, your cat and niece. And when I got up, she started cleaning where I was hugging. So rude, so rude. How dare they do that? We were trying to hug them and it's like, no, sorry. Well, like no hugs for you then. <laughs> uh, have you ever played Grow? song of evertree and uh Kiliko. i've seen the game Kiliko, Kiliko, calico i think plum bell has played it before but i've never heard of song of evertree before uh you think medieval is a good game to play like once a month if you have time oh yeah like i think it's when you play it for a, for a long time like every single day it can get kind of repetitive of course and Kind of boring at times, but um, I think that, yeah, once a month is always a good time. It depends on how fast or how slow you do all these things. Brita Adam, no, I hate that name. And Hobie, welcome in. How are you doing today? Medieval Sims look better than The Sims in The Sims 3. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, but thank you for the tweet, by the way. Thank you. I don't know what to call her. No. Ed, Ed, wait, 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 Ed, nah, Edna mode, <laughs> Edna mode, <laughs> Incredibles, there's like a lot of things you can do, however, you're kind of restricted on the skin tones, however, like you only have like, oh my gosh, like only a few, I like that one, you can like, change like their age like modify like you can give them more wrinkles or like no wrinkles like i think it's like really cool more like face details like blush is another thing too yeah i have twitter open on my other monitor <laughs> i'm like wait i just saw it open um i mean evil is very spicy with the traits you are correct they are very spicy they're like oh interesting I've, i think it's like kind of wild that it is very that spicy like, these traits are so wild. Like, adventurous, call of the sea, uh, chivalrous, uh, creative cook, dedicated, earthy, like, entitled, evil, excitable, friendly, fun-loving, good, etc., etc. But, like, there's some good ones. And then you have, like, the fatal flaws. So, it's like, yikes. I definitely want to be cruel. If I want to name this after like the Incredibles, I think what I would do is a uh, puny. Cause she's very puny, but she's also very excitable and semi entitled. I would think. Dehydrated stay, welcome in. How are you doing today? And yes, we are playing The Sims with Evil today. You are correct, Amundo. You are indeed. Mm, I'm gonna move that down. Welcome in. How you be? How you been? Uh, the song about Evertree is about a giant world tree. Why did I think about, um, I almost said James and the Giant's Peach, but that's not it. 
um, what's that one book? Jack and the Beanstalk thing. Uh, infected with a withering and you are restored to the ever you make them new world seeds and develop them with alchemy and song. Ooh, that kind of gives me vibes of spirit fair a little bit, you know? Oh my, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wonder if they'll look better because Max's was able to make them look good uh, at the second try. True. Or if they make him look better because of the art team dealt with other gaming company to help develop it. Well, I don't think anyone has helped them make this. I don't know. Wait. You know what? No, I don't know. You might be on something with that. I feel like they worked with somebody to make them look better. Cause when you compare the Sims 3 and this game, com same concept, same like, you know, system, but completely different thing. Hmm. And also little Dicka, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's, I hope your day is going pretty well. <laughs> welcome, welcome in bestie. Hope you're doing good on this fine evening. I honestly have not played this game in over like maybe three years. So I am clueless at this game. Well, ate my parents is the best. Oh yeah. It's like a oh, whale well, ate my parents. Like, okay. It's like Timmy fell down the well last time, but no, I really mean it. A parent, the parents got eaten by a whale last night. Just you believe me, just you wait. You're doing well. Oh, I'm so glad you're doing well. I feel good today. I was watching TikTok, as one does on a daily basis. And I have to say, I found some good ones. I found some good TikToks. Mainly singing song TikToks is what I'm on right now. And watching City Skylines. So it was a good day. <laughs> it was a good day. Did I procrastinate at building today? Yes. Will I do that tomorrow? No, because I am determined to finish my build. I think they did magic in this game really well too. Oh yeah. The magic system in this game is really nice. Oh, I think the idea of like the witches, like you can do like different roles, like the doctor, the witch, um, the matriarch, like the whole like kingdom part. But there's different ones and I think it's like hilarious on how many there are, but also like what you could do with each one. I wish there was a family tree though with this game because my last playthrough that I did, I had multiple kids and I wanted to see the generations grow, you know? Karakar, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. And Olivia played this. Hello, how are you? Have you played this game before? <laughs> uh, and you used to play this game. I have to say, I don't play this game that very often, but I've been really enjoying watching Simsy play it. And I forgot how chaotic it can be and what you could do with it. So if you want to get this game, it is on Origin. It's still widely available to literally everyone. I believe it's also on Steam as well. So... You've got options. I also think The Sims is also on sale at the moment too. Sims 4 and Sims 3, I think. The Lunar New Year is a thing. It's happening. You did buy it after Kayla played on stream. <laughs> How have you been liking it? Honestly, I think like this game has a certain je ne sais quoi to it that the regular Sims 3 doesn't. And I think it's just like hilarious. <laughs> it's very, very funny. I think that I can go a bit overboard though with it because there is a pit and I just throw people in it. Like you laugh at my wedding, the pit to you. If you are causing a scene at my wedding, the pit to you. It's like, don't have a fight at my wedding. You're gonna get thrown into the pit that way. <laughs> Uh, you're really good. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Yeah, honestly, Car Car, I say I recommend it. It is a good game. If you played The Sims 3, then it has like a similar system, but it is very completely different. 
when it comes to the mechanics and what you can and cannot do. You love this game. I feel like they could have had like another expansion pack with this game. Like this, ooh, that's fancy. <laughs> Why does this give me coconut head vibes? Um, but like there could have been like another expansion, at least that I feel like there could have been. It, like it would have been really cool. What else could they do? Like maybe wizards and I don't know, alchemy instead of like pirates and nobles, wizards and alchemy could be the next expansion. I think there was also custom content that you could add to this game. Because apparently the Sims stories, like castaway stories, pet stories, and life stories has custom content that you can add into that game because it is, it's a Sims 2 system. So I was very surprised. Will I download it? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> RPG, welcome in. How are you doing today? Ooh. This is so fancy. Why are you giving me, giving me like a Regina from Once Upon a Time vibes? She looks like an evil witch. I'm changing the color of it. You all can't stop me. <laughs> I have the power. <laughs> I honestly think it's like a little bit chaotic. The fact that we have this much power in uh, The Sims 3, like engine. There's an ombre to it. Oh my gosh. An ombre? Maybe I should get it once I get a new apartment. I think you should. It's one of those games that you can play once in a blue moon, but it's a great game to play once in a blue moon. It has a nice vibe. Ooh, a pole. <gasps> you know what? I'm going to say Coco because I've never seen the Book of Life. I've never seen the Book of Life before. Uh, ooh, this is so... Why do I like it? The reds are great. Like this like deep, rich red. Ooh, it's so nice. Oh, I love it. But I also love the So How Are You. Uh, she is beauty. She is grace. She is the beauty. Beauty and the based. <laughs> I want to give her a different hairstyle, but I'm just like, which one? Which one? Not a lot of options, of course, but it is what I call a vibe to look through. I have hats. <gasps> Ooh. I remember this one. I also remember that one, too. We're like a gypsy. Oh, that's royalty right there. That's lo that's royalty right there. I'm going to make it golden because I can. <laughs> Oh, these, the gems, and then the middle one, then this one right here, which I don't, oh, that's the back side of the thing. Ew. Let's save that for later. I am for sure going to have some kids or a kid in this game. You only can have one baby in this game. Nothing more, sadly. We can only hope and dream that we could have more. We can only have one. She will punch you in the face. <laughs> she will. It's like, you come near me, I'm going to punch you in the face. I'm like, oh, oh my. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I'm scared. Ooh. Oh, no, this is, a, this is what I call a nice royal dress. The royal wedding. We are courting. It's the next millennium. She needs her crown, yes. I'm glad you can replay chapters and Jor become human. It's so good. I'm glad you can do that and do different options. We're gonna eventually play it at some point again. Cause I think what happened, um, well, not a bad thing what happened, but I think when we played it one time, I don't know if you all decided my choices or I just did what I wanted. No, I think you all decided my choices for Detroit Become Human. It ended really crazy on how it, how I, how we did it, but it was definitely worth it. I have to say, definitely worth it. 
So we're going to play it again at some point in the future. Also, Simply Life, welcome in. How are you doing today? We're currently playing this nice, lovely game called The Sims Medieval. And we're currently designing our matriarch here at the moment. So we're in Create a Sim. What would they call it back in the young olden days, huh? I don't know what they would call it back then, but it sure is something. That's a nice one. I like that's like deep red, you know? Pretty good. Yeah. Coco wins. You are my people. See, you chose the right community. <laughs> I honestly really love Coco. Coco has like a really good vibe. It makes you cry. It makes you laugh. It makes you do all the things. I'm going to save my sim first of all. It just has like a nice vibe to it. Now, Book of Life, I've never seen it. You're playing Cottage Core Big Sister Challenge. Explain to me. Explain that to me. Because I know what the Big Sister Challenge is, but what is Cottage Core Big Sister Challenge? So are you just like living in Hanford on Bagley? Is that the thing? Because I have no idea. But here's our matriarch. She's all oo woo, all oo dooed up. She looks pretty. I do want to give her like different hair though. <gasps> Wait a minute, besties. I just remembered. I can give her highlights. Scandalous. Scandalous blue highlights. Never been done before in the medieval times, I don't think. Accessory. What accessory? To a crime? I don't know what that means. I give her like blonde hair lights. I don't know. Wildly crazy. <laughs> um, I am seeing this mill for the first time. It looks beautiful. Oh, I agree with you 100%. Sims with Evil is one of those games that not all of people are aware of. And I feel like a lot of people should play this more. Like, people can still buy it. It's still widely available. It runs better than the actual Sims 3 game. The Sims look shiny. A little bit greasy, but they look great. Um, so I recommend it to literally anyone and everyone. Everyone and their mother, dog, cat, hamster, rat, rodent thing should play this game. And I'm glad you're doing good, Simply Life. I am doing swell. We are starting a new save file for our medieval playthroughs. And I'm very excited because I have not played this game in 84 years. And we have Lady Edna from Edna from The Incredibles. I need her Edna after The Incredibles. I think it's just wonderful. Uh, I don't have to go to Tennessee to do the enhancement eye surgery. Oh, good. I'm so happy to hear that. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you don't have to go get the surgery because surgery is scatty. Also, welcome in, Tiny Vic. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good today. We are playing The Sims with Evil, and we're gonna do our first steps. Yes. Oh, living in Hemford and Bagley and making money from cottage core ways. Oh, that sounds exciting. Let me know how that goes. You can build in this game, yes, but not what you think. Like you can build in the game, but you can't like build your own castles or anything. It's more so like furnishing the rooms it's like yes and no the book of life you started like four times and then made myself finish it probably will never watch again <laughs> i feel like the book of life is like one of those movies that i'm like what because i know it's on disney plus it's a thing so yeah if you didn't know this about the sims with evil there's like different quests you can do of course once you finish one more unlock of course and once you like unlock more, you can like kind of upgrade your kingdom side by side, you know, doctors, smithery, all the things. It's a very detailed game, I would say. What is this one? Investigate the mysterious shipwreck off the coast of Hopper Kingdom. Strange things are afoot in Hopper Kingdom. Interesting. I've been really thinking about buying it and my answer is turning out more and more positive. Yes. Look at this. Oh, hello. 
Hello, Lady Edna. Ah, uh, look at that. Ooh, our Her Royal Highness is here. And Tavico, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Okay, so it says Lady Edna was on her way to the breach to meet the royal advisor, Adrian. Hours earlier, a sailor had washed ashore along with some ship wreckage. Lady Edna hoped to learn what happened on the waves. Ooh, okay. It's a very like big kingdom, I would say. Like it's very huge. Open land. Here's the pit of darkness where you can have your Sims die. Etc. Etc. You know the usual stuff. <laughs> I've never, I've never. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hmm. I'm glad Disney are making movies about the girls falling for the prince and being in distress every single time. That stuff gets annoying very quickly, and I'm glad they're not doing that anymore, or as not as often. I've been really thinking about buying it. If you ever need me to mod or anything, I'm happy to help. Yeah, I'm pretty much good with all my mods as of right now, though. Pretty good. But thank you for the offer, though. Oh, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're playing this tonight. I'm glad I'm playing it tonight, honestly. I haven't played it forever. It's like furnishing a dollhouse style. Oh, yeah. That's what it's like, basically. Furnishing a dollhouse in that style. Oh, my goodness. What happened? Are you... Did he die? <laughs> Did he die? So far, my kid sister, a violin, uh, got her a violin because she loves violins and she needs her activity table soon. Very good. Certain items in the inventory will go bad over time. Eat and store them. Wait, it looks like they sorted the wreckage in there. That And there's that poor wreck of a sailor. Still passed out, I see. Oh, he's passed out. I thought he died. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Squimmy, welcome in. How are you doing today? And Harry Potter girl, welcome in. And Share Bear, hello. Um, <laughs> where's the royal advisor? Are you? No, you're the guard. Where's the, where's the, where's he at? I can't find him. But I'm doing really good today. We are playing The Sims with Evil, which is a brand new game. <laughs> Not brand new. This game has been out for a very long time. So I think since 2011. So I've been playing this game for a while, but doing it again after so long of not playing. Yeah, welcome in, uh, Squimmy. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good waiting for the Nor Eastern to hit. 8 to 10 hour. 8 eight to 10. Wait, 8 to 12 inches of snow predicted starting tonight. Oof. Wait, right here, your majesty. The guards have searched through the wreckage and can provide further details if you wish to hear them. The sailor is alive, but hasn't come, hasn't yet to come to. What do you wish me to do? Where are you at? Oh, you're right here. <laughs> I couldn't find him. Relieve the, relieve the sailor. Relieve the sailor. Get Jeb. Jeb, Jeb is better. I like Jeb. Jeb is kind. Jeb is cool. Every time someone plays something Sims related, you can never go without saying a question. Did he die? Exactly. Yes, my lady. I shall see what uh, see what can be done for the awakening of our half-drowned guest. J Where am I? Am I dead? That's the first thing he says. Like, am I dead? Oh, lady Edna, come quickly. The sailor is awakening. <laughs> Jebediah. Jeb. Jeb from Eco Lifestyle is the coolest sim ever to exist. He wears a bag over his head and it's so nice. Noelle, long time no see. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. We're playing The Sims with evil. But yeah, if you're brand new to the streams today and you don't know who I am and what I do, never be afraid to ask a question. I played it and then I can't go from screen to screen to chat here. Oh, uh, see, that's why I play in windowed mode. I don't do full screen. Full screen mode messes up everything with my computer. Um, I'm doing good and you, I'm doing really great today. I've been having a lot of fun just playing just random stuff. And honestly, I've been having literally the best life of my life these past two weeks. 
because good things are happening and are coming next month and I cannot wait to share. But overall, I've been doing pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. And also Ravenclaw, welcome in. I'm alive, praise to the watcher. I didn't get a good look at our attackers. They hit us in the middle of the night. Before I knew it, before I knew what was happening, I was thrown out into the cold black waves and our ship was burning. We had a crew of 30. You must sail to look for survivors, I beg you. What a horrible situation. I wonder if the guards have gained any insight from the ex examining the wreckage. I had a better set off soon if there if there is to be any hope of finding survivors. Oh my, what the, what is that? <laughs> what is that? I cannot believe this. Someone died. Someone have died. It looks like our boat's fine, but we're gonna go and search for survivors. So this game isn't very open world-esque as you would think it would be. Like, if we go into this boat, we're not actually going to go and travel to the wreckage and find survivors, of course. It's more so going through a loading screen, and then the boat just takes off like that. But it's really interesting on how complex this game can be, based on all the things you can do. You can joust over here, you can throw people into the pit, or, you know, the stocks, etc., etc., and usually over time, there'll be like two churches that you can like build up on like this side. And also I believe on this side over here. It's very, very interesting on what you can do. The stories you can tell, the quests you can do. Honestly, I remember a meteor killed my sim and I was like, um, what? <laughs> I don't, I laugh all the time. I don't know where this stuff comes from, but it just happens. I think it happened in The Sims 3, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, The Sims 3 had it where a sim would get like attacked by a meteorite. And I know The Sims 2, in The Sims 2, your sims can get killed by a uh, satellite dish. So they went from a satellite dish to a meteor. To what now? Earthquakes? Yeah. Okay, now I'm play the Sim now I'm playing Sims Evil. BRB loading my game. Very good. Ooh, this is so cool. And I want to let you all know now. I think you all know Sim Guru Ninja. Sim Guru Ninja and Sim Guru Jill, who work for The Sims 4, like now. They've been at EA for like a very long time. And I recently found out that Sim Guru Ninja worked on um, like the Sims, like life stories, pet stories, castaway stories. Like it's so wild, but he also worked on this game as well. The Sims with Evil along with Sim Guru Jill and of course other people as well. But I, I only know those two who <laughs> worked on this game. And it's, it's so amazing how far they have come from what they started to where they are now. And I'm like blown away, you know? It was a Sims 3 and it was like, what is this big black circle? It's so, <laughs> it's wild. Wait, okay. Not long after settling sail, setting sail, Lady Edna and her crew came upon a thick fog. She was the only one on the ship. Uh, slow and steady ahead. Keep a, a shift eye, swift eye of any debris. The fog enveloped the ship and all eyes were on the water as the cold fog dampened all sense of direction in a muff muffling blanket of mist. Wreckage sighted off <laughs> the starboard bow. A gruesome vigorous emerge from the mist. Shark bitten bodies. What? Clunge to the, to the, uh, staggering of debris, which marked of the watery grave of the bright destiny. There's no survivors here, Milady. Let us sail back to Hopper Kingdom. The wind started to pick up and the fog began to clear as they turned to head back to the dock. Oh my gosh. I'm a survivor. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. It gives you a uh, Disney Child Goes Medieval only for Kids Bob. Exactly. Kids Bob is still going. Is there a website? 
that assists in choosing careers of the Sims based on traits. Is there a website for that? Choosing careers for Sims based on traits. I don't think so. I know there's like a random generator website that I, I, I've seen before. But I've seen somebody do this before and it was like a random generator that someone had made on their website. And I don't remember what it was called. But I don't think there really is, though. Well, technically, James has something like it, but it's not that. It's like a random trait generator. But I feel like what you're asking, I don't think it's like an actual website choosing careers for Sims based on traits. I don't think so. If it's been done before, let me know. Suddenly a cannon shot rang out and a giant slash erupted from the water right next to Edna's ship. Enemy ship approaches, full sail ahead, ready to cannons in case she tries to pursue. Another cannon blast and near miss the enemy ship dropped in its sails and remained hidden in the fog. Lady Edna and crew returned to Hopper Kingdom wondering who the mysterious ship belonged to. Ooh, that's cool. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your dinner. I know we have NRA settings, but to me, they are really complicated settings. Oh, they really are. I don't mess with any NRA settings unless I have to. Usually, I only change a few things with NRA when it comes to like how many tattoos like my Sim can wear, um, the amount of sliders I can use in The Sims 3. Um, and like, of course, like I have like this traveler mod in my game in the Sims 3, not this one, but the regular Sims 3 where, uh, I missed it. Um, where I basically can travel literally anywhere and vacation in any world that I have installed, especially if I wanted to, you know, move there, I could. We found your crew. There was no survivors. We found no sign of your crew. Perhaps there's still hope. There is no hope. All is lost. Madam, will I take off the boat, please? <gasps> She's here. Ooh, hello. Hi, um, Harold. Wh Why is Harold giving me Freddie Mercury vibes? I don't know why, but I get Freddie Mercury vibes from uh, from uh from Harold. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. You really need to change the settings of story progression. I don't think I've ever changed anything with story progression. I probably did, but I don't remember. It's been years. How did it go? Did you find any of my shipmates? I feared as much. Thank you for your efforts. Don't worry. It's all in a day's work. Let's go tell the about the enemy's ship. I feel bad for Mark, <laughs> but there's nothing that can be done to help now. I need to head back to the castle and meet with the royal advisor, Adrian, and tell him what happened out in the water. Oh, she looks angry. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she looks angry. You see it too? It's the, it's the mustache. Well, Freddy is rocking that purple for sure. It's true, true. I think I kind of want to rewatch um, Bohemian Rhapsody for the 10th time. I've seen that movie nine times. I might as well go to double digits and, uh, make it official. It's a really good movie. I believe it's on Hulu. Oh, also, if you just pop in into the stream right now, um, Lady Edna's traits are excitable and entitled, but her weakness and her, basically her fatal flaw is that she is puny. Your sim often gets sore when using high impacted objects, lowering their mood. Oh gosh, your sim will lose fights more often and it will lose, wait, the king of ball. Oh yeah, king of ball matches more often and your sim gets shrunk faster. I get shrunk faster. My ship was fired upon. Come to the tactical map and show me where you were attacked. I will, I will. Honestly, okay, I, you all know I love storytelling. 
I would love to see that happen in The Sims. Like, The Sims is evil. The stories that could be told. Queen Bella from the medieval times. Who would be the one? Who would be the one? You. Let me show you. Discuss the hostile, hostile ship on the tactical map with Royal Advisor Adrian. You're not Royal Advisor Adrian. Move out of my way. Can I just put you in the pit? I cannot. I am not going to spar you either. <laughs> I can't do that right now. He's too important to the mission. And welcome back, Dab. Welcome back. We were not far off the coast, just a bit south of this position here. They attacked us after we found the wreckage of the other ship. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, that's his fancy. <laughs> Strange. Those waters aren't known to be especially dangerous. They were close to the uh, Tundran trade routes and sometimes attracted pirates of Arbyville. But they generally don't involve other kingdoms in their conflicts. Oh. Neighborhood stories is a trip. Oh, it is. Nissim's uh, BF called her. Uh... He found a ring in his GF's back saying his GF, my Sim, was going to propose. But what did he say? Uh, wh what should he say? I said, you decide. And then, and then the relationship uh, panel says they're now engaged. I can't. It's a trip and a half. It goes like from zero to 100 real quick. I usually get the ones where it's like, should we try for a baby? I say, sure. Or you decide. I'm like, okay. I summon your, our scouts. Hopefully they'll be able to uh, shed some light on the situation. We must be sure that Hopper Kingdom is prepared in case things become more dire. Ooh. Also, what did you get, Dab? Are you sharing with the class today anything good? Anything good? Hear the report of Scout Brianna and then get a report from Scout Chad. Chad Dylan Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be finishing the makeover of three of the houses in The Sims 2, the Burbs, Pleasants, and Oldies. Oh, I hope you have fun. Just, did you just boo at me? Rude. Oh, she was excited. Never mind. Um, but that's exciting because aren't they all related? Because it's through Daniel Pleasant. He's related to the Burbs and the Oldies, if I'm not mistaken. Your Majesty, there has been a sudden increase in RB or even villain pirate activity. There are rumors that the dread captain Clarissa Dark Tide has called a meeting of the Tundral and the red and black fleet fleets have been doing heavy recruiting. We should proceed with caution. No. Oh, proceed with caution, you say? <laughs> you spend all your simoleons on groceries? Mood. Because I would do the exact same thing. I'm telling you, Sims 3 and Sims 2 grocery shopping is no joke. You'll be breaking the bank. But clothes shopping in The Sims 2 was brutal. Everything was 200 simoleons each. No matter what you bought in The Sims 2, it will be 200 simoleons. Ridiculous. In The Sims 2, I was going to have the birds break up. Ugh! I felt like John wants a big family and his wife doesn't want to focus on a career. I can kind of get that, you know... With the, the way that they grew up, in my eyes, I feel like the way that that uh, Jennifer, I think it's her, her name is Jennifer, I think. But Daniel Pleasant, I feel like it, it, it's like their chemistry doesn't align with who they're dating and they all should just break up. So I feel you want 100% with that. But you dig a, a activity table for the kiddo. Oh, good. Good. Decorations for the home. And enjoy the movie. Let us know how it goes for you. And thank you for being here. My lady, the Tundran Guild had an emergency meeting with the Admiral Horace McMandrake and the Navy to discuss the countermeasures against increased pirate attacks. I haven't seen things this heated in the 
Sri Dani before, the Admiral is recommending a full out assault on the pirates. I can't. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love that. It's, it looks like I reply to myself. Mm hmm. I love buying clothes for my Sims. They added more realism, but I don't miss it in The Sims 3 or 4. I feel you on that. I honestly feel like there's a lot of things that I miss and don't miss at the same time because I always feel like there could be more, you know? This is troubling news. Return to the scouting assignment. Okay. You! I want to speak with you today. Yes, Your Majesty. I will do what you need to do. And Savvy, welcome in. How are you doing today? What are you playing? You're playing by yourself? Okay. See that our forces are prepared, Lieutenant. We may have avoided battle for now, but there are war brewing, brewing, and I have the bad feeling we haven't seen the last of it. That was a quick quest, but we're already at level two of a matriarch. Nice. Awesome. So now we can strategize and pass uh, edicts at the technical map and whole court in the throne room. Oh, perfect. But we only have like 30 renown like and 30 RP. I feel like that we could do so much. Like a watch's pavilion. We could make a monastery, the PDM Faith, or the, or the other one, the Jacobin Cathedral. But the King Ball Court. I want something really cool. No, I want a tavern. <gasps> I want a tavern. You, Maximus Winterborn, who is sailory, earthy, and herbis. What the? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Is anyone worthy for the pit yet? Not yet, but soon. Soon they will be. Soon. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna recolor everything because I can. I'm gonna make it a, a nice, good, decent sized color. <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. Wishing you the best as always. You know, wishing you the best is an ugly shade of yellow. Ew, uh, it's icky. Ooh, that's a nice color. Give me this one. The hex code. You. This one. <laughs> you know, I shouldn't have this much power, to be honest. I really, really shouldn't. But what can you really do, honestly? What can you really do? Soon enough, everything will be yellow. Just you wait and see, besties. Just you wait and see. Okay. Hopefully this stream can make you feel better, Savvy, as always, as you always know. Let's do this. We're currently playing The Sims Been Evil at the moment, and I shouldn't be allowed to have this much power, but I do not care. I will do what I want, and when I plays, no one can stop me. Not even in the slightest. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. I need a nice color. This one over here. Oh, that's not it. Give me this one. Right. Nope. Right. 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 There. Give up. This is me with the color blue. <laughs> it's so wild that you can do all this stuff. Like The Sims 3, I have to say, was the most powerful game ever to exist because of what you could do with this game. You need to sell your frog from your inventory so I can actually cook for ingredients. Mood. Oh, there we go. I can actually go to the second floor now. Good. Honestly, when in doubt, sell your stuff so you can make groceries and make your food to your desire. It's what needed to be done. But what are your, what's your sins making? <laughs> you know, last time I made it green. In my last save file, I made everything green based off of Shrek. Saying the tavern was he swamp. Me swamp. Ew. That's disgusting. Um, that is an ugly shade of yellow. Um, but me swamp must be protected at all costs. You know the drill, besties. 
everything must be yellow. Or we shall perish. I want to copy and pasta. Thank you. Copy and pasta. Oh, I can recolor my lovely stove. I can barely see it though. Go. But yeah, last time when we played this, it was like, okay, this is getting crazy. I love it. Yellow taking over the world. It is indeed. And it shall stay like that forever. <laughs> if I can recolor it, it will be yellow. I can't recolor that one. What else can I recolor? Can I recolor you? Bard stage. I can't recolor the light. Oh well. I've done all that I could. <laughs> Daf Daf, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing good. But yeah, essentially this is what you can do in build mode. It's like decorating dollhouses. So if you're curious about this game, it's like decorating a dollhouse and that's all you can really do. Not much to be honest, but it is sure is something I have to say. The kingdom. Sims 3 is definitely superior. Oh, it is. Like, it's amazing, but laggy. And I still will play it. <laughs> I mean, The Sims 3 for, re for me right now isn't laggy like it used to be back in the olden days, which is great. But when, uh, nowadays it's way better. What do you mean first steps aren't done? I still have to go. <gasps> oh boy. Wait a minute. What's this mean? Expires in one qu one of the quests. Do I have to do it again? I don't think so. Power grab. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> You're making fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I love the wiggles. You're doing okay. How are you? I'm doing really good today, actually. I honestly feel great because I'm finally playing The Sims with Evil for what it is. After not playing it for so long. We have Lady Edna. We're a matriarch level two. We're doing great for ourselves, but we need to gussy up on the mirror. We're on, our, we're on our next quest, which is pretty good. Perfect. Now I'm a little bit more focused. Stay focused will make it easier for me to complete my journeys in which I may find myself. Speaking of which, I seek out Build Master Raymond. Animal Crossing? Of the Builders Guild, a powerful pillar of the community and discuss the future of Hopper Kingdom. I don't want to... No. I don't care about these rules. I do not care. You know what? Hold up. I'm taking all of, off all of these. I don't want to know. I don't want to even want to know about a single thing when it comes to um, these lessons. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm always happy to help with anything. Oh, oh whoa, Raymond. Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. Let's go. Hey, nice to meet you, bestie. You look interesting. Nice, nice creases. Couldn't miss a Sims Evil. Exactly, you couldn't miss it. It's a staple. The throne room is all done, milady. We'll need more resources to begin the next building in the kingdom. Wood, stone, supplies will cover it. I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while with a little bitterment of my kingdom. I should make my way to the forest and collect the necessary wood. Fine. It's going to tell me what to do, and I hate it. I don't want to. We're going to go to the woods and find some wood. Give me all the things I need. There we go. Ah, the forest. A much adventure awaits in the woods. In these woods, the wilder, the wildflowers here are especially beautiful. I should collect some before they go away. <laughs> Have you played The Sims with Evil before, Daf Daf? If you haven't, I mean, it is on Origin. It is a quite delicacy of a game to play. Ooh, wildflowers. Give me. I recommend it to anyone. Yeah, this is a new save file. Apparently, my old save file, like all my old ones, I, they're in my game. But the one that we played before... 
is not there. And I'm very sad because we had like a Shrek playthrough and everything. Like we had Shrek running the tavern. We had, you know, Princess Fiona, Donkey, Lady Dragon. We had all the things that we needed, but they just weren't there. I was like, hmm, we can always start anew. Start anew. Well, well, a victim has come to visit my force. You better had hand over my money if you know what's good for you. Is it a threat? A bandit dares is our enemy. The queen? A trusty sword can bring this vengeance to service or to justice. Um, I'm going to spar you. Wait. Oh, I have to challenge to a duel, not spar. I'm going to die. I swear it feels great. Just staying home and doing nothing on your birthday. Honestly, it really is. It's one of the best feelings ever. Oh my. So this is what fighting looks like in this game. There's actual swords. <laughs> your your matriarch can die. Um, like you have the health and stamina over here. <laughs> it's so wild. I used to play this uh play this like crazy. I had the craziest families. Oh, same. I remember I played it when it first came out and then I stopped playing it because I was playing more Sims 2 back. Oh, I thought she died. Um, but I started playing more Sims 2 back then. Oh, I forgot we're puny. So we'll lose fights more often. Yeah, that's right. Don't fight the queen. Triumph bandits can only become a problem in Hopper Kingdom, but the knight or spy could, could curb that. Now I can collect wood in peace. The stocks you go. I'm going to collect wood. Success odds medium. Maybe I'll go hunting. Maybe. <laughs> uh, my teen, my teen sim just woke up at the at two in the morning to enter a save. Two in the morning. Oh, oh, a phase. I hate the faces in The Sims 3. They are too much. I had um, one of my Sims become a picky eater. And I'm not kidding. Everything I made, they were like, no, I don't want that. Oh, so I found a way to cheat. Getting uh, a plant baby in The Sims 3. How? Tell me. Tell us. We need to know. There was always a venture waiting to be found in the forest. The, the wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. It will. I wish we could go into the woods, the wood outskirts. Hello, Guard Jasper. Are you a vampire? The wood will be perfect for the kingdom's next building project. The builder will also need stone. I can mine some in the cave by the graveyard. Oh gosh, not the graveyard. Anything but that. What if I, I just went into the woods to go hunting? What if I die? What if I die? Looks like the creature from the forest doesn't, don't want to give up their tasty flesh for, for the good of the kingdom today. Selfish creatures, I can't. I'm dead. I'm also very hungry too. I need to eat soon. Uh, do you have to get fighting level up? Yeah. I think the higher, the, the higher that my matriarch is, the better fighting I will be. And the better fight I'll have. However, since we are very puny, which is our fatal flaw, we technically will lose more fights than normal, but how the war are these people? Did they die? <laughs> I just saw random people on the floor. I'm like, wait, they must be passed out. Into the Woods is a good movie without James Corbin. Right? I remember I had a save where I tried to get the queen pregnant by every male in the village. Not every male in the village. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had that one time. Oh, uh, they got the, uh, a female that's stressed one. Maybe she's stressed and resents taking care of her little sister right now. I figured. Well, my lady, I was just wondering if you could consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems un... Concern words to bury these people without a proper right from the Jacobian or the Peterian priest. Thank you, my lady. A church? So these people are dead. <laughs> I don't I can't believe this. 
Oh my gosh. Um, these poor people. I have to go into the cave and build a church next time. I cannot believe this. My lady's angry. Don't open it. Please don't. <laughs> As Edna backed away, ripples into the water disturbed the chest. Suddenly the chest glowed hot and exploded in the Im immense fireball. Luckily Edna had kept her distance. She was not burned, but only knocked off her feet. All around, burning hot coins from the ends of the chest rained down and smoldered in the cold cave floor. We earned 225 simoles. Nice! And welcome back, Tabby Co. And welcome back, Sevi. Oh, you have to have a, a cheat to go into debug, and there's a plant. Oh, you have to plump it out and grow. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I don't want to go to the village of Shop A. Fine, I'll go. It's going to really tell me what I need to do, and I don't want that. I wonder if I can turn that off, actually. Earn more. Fine. Let me see. It's also blocking my view, is the thing. Path, path to the village. There we go. I want to see if I can turn this off, because I already know what to do. Okay. Let me see something. <laughs> Easy location. Uh, no. I don't want to enable the, the lessons. Is it because I started a new, a whole new game? Is that the reason? It probably is. I miss you guys this week. I've we've missed you too. We've missed you too. Oh wait, hold up. Let me type in this cheat. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't be a Sims 3 game without cheating, right? Mainly just cheating the needs. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Testing cheats one. What? What is it again? <gasps> oh no. Wait a minute. Hold up. I need to know this. Cheats. Sims medieval. I need to know this. A group cry. You need some food. I need food too. I am hungry. I really am. I really am. Oh. Oh. Interesting. There is no such cheat. Apparently there isn't. For that I am. Oh. 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 Well, I'm going to do that later then. <laughs> well, anyway, moving forward, we're going to go back home because we're very hungry. Let's head back to the kingdom, head back to the castle. Eye of the Watcher. Back to the throne, back to the kingdom. Going back. Listen, listen, I only need cheats to help me and grow my knowledge. I only need to, to have knowledge, not to cheat. Only knowledge. I've only been able to use my load in this game. I know there's some other tools you can definitely use. Gruel. Here's the link that I was using. There you go, bestie. You can't live without cheats. Yeeta ten? I can't. I cannot. <laughs> Uh, Dab made that quote, by the way. I'm very tired. I'm very angry. So we got to go to the path of the village to kind of get started with everything. So go to that location in the morning while we awake. Apparently we also have stone and wood and all these other seeds in here in our sword. Oh, good. There is no such thing as auto lights in this game. Because you use candles for everything. You got pizza from Papa John's today. It was so good. Ooh, what did you get on your pizza today? Anything delicious? Mine would be with no cheese. A cheeseless pizza with sausage and pepperoni on it. Because I think that's delicious. 
I mean, maybe Simi made it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you should get either a healthy snack basket in a, of a mini fridge and perhaps both. Probably both. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you never really know. I have been eyeing a mini fridge for a while, but I was like, do I even really need one right now? I feel like I don't, but I do at the same time. Wait, where did I go? Oh, go. But then also I do like snacks. I've been eyeing some good stuff lately. Give me all the cheese. Buy the cheese. It's cheese-tastic. The lady nodded. Very good. Very good. Your Highness, you're all wise indeed. Then I present you the gift of res resilience. The Matriarch's armor of fortitude. It is not the best armor, but let it be, let it symbolize your goals as you build Hopper Kingdom into a great bustling kingdom. Ooh. Nice. And also, Anybug, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well and swell on this fine evening. Welcome, welcome in. Yeah, there is a new sub goal. So it's down below, basically. So down below, if we reach 300 sub points, um, I'll play Five Nights at Freddy. Now, a long ways away, of course. We already reached our other goal yesterday. And we're going to play Sims Life Stories. Um, basically, next week on Saturday, we're playing Sims Life Stories on the stream and i'm very excited about that so you got pepperoni sausage green and banana peppers onion mushroom black olives and regular cheese Ooh, i feel like i've made an order like that when i worked at little caesar's at one point i feel like i have man where are you going thank you but i've ne i don't know i've never been a big fan of black olives before I feel like they were always like meh to me. I can send him to the stocks. You're a bully. You are a bully. I'm going to throw an egg at you at your face. You are a bully and I hate you. <laughs> I was just messing around. You don't mess around like that in my kingdom. It's a good to be queen. Everyone has their own way of going about these problems though. I wonder how a, how a wizard or a physician would be handled would have handled that bully um, with death. Days is much better today. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that the days have been much better. Good, good, good. Now to shame the bully, that'll make him think twice about messing with my townspeople. <laughs> the stocks you go. I'm going to throw a tomato at your face because I can, because I'm more powerful than you. Throw the tomato. Throw an egg. Throw an egg. <laughs> Off to the pit with you. I don't think I can go to the have them go into the pit until later. I can jump into the pit. I was excited to see you. Uh, to see you got them installed. I was so excited too. Honestly, the fact that I got the Sims life, pet stories, and castaway stories all installed and working fine with no issues is great. No bullies allowed. Bullies get thrown to the pit. Are you going to throw a tomato? Not you throwing a tomato at a random stranger. Hit. <laughs> you remember playing this uh, for a little while back in the day? I honestly have to say this game is like honestly top tier. It's one of the most funniest games I've ever played. Because it can go from 0 to 100 real quick. Now, pay attention, besties. If you haven't seen this game in a long time or at all, you are about to witness the most horrifying thing of all time. She jumped into the pit. She jumped. She leaped. Like, look at this. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, there's, like, astronomical signs, numbers. Like, look at that. That is horrifying. It's a kraken. Or some type of, like, sea monster thing. <laughs> it's so wild. It's crazy. Oh, 
and I'm fighting somebody too? I cannot believe someone's trying to fight me when someone's about to die. What's even crazier, you if you lose, there'll be like bones that will pop up out of like on this corner. She lived? Fine. I just wanted to see it happen to somebody. Oh, how I love the pit. Come on, that's super cool. It is really super cool. The pit is hilarious. Why do I feel like I'm gonna die? Can I cancel out this thing? I can. I surrender. You know what? You fought me, so um the pit to you. Bye. <laughs> they just randomly fought me and they're going to the pit now. Need this type of creativity in for. Honestly, if we got like some type of um medieval pack in the sims 4 i would scream and would love it <laughs> the drama that my child sim is going through the clingy not the clingy phase oh woo the traitor yes woo them my sim is familiar distressed phase perfect timing you know honestly couldn't have been better couldn't have been more perfect at a time well, hello, good looking. I'm, I would seem a few visitors have arrived while I was out. I do believe I see a visitor who catches my eye. I need food, but I want to do that later because I want to see who's going to get thrown to the pit. I need to see the witness of a death. Now. Oh, are they in there? Oh, they're in there. Oh, they might not survive. Also, QT Moosey, welcome in. How are you doing today? And Nero D'Angelo, welcome in. We are playing The Sims from Evil today, and we just threw somebody into the pit. Oh, I feel like I feel like I know what the clip the clip is going to be. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. She lived. I give up. I am done with this quest. You. Matriarch, no. Friendly? What do I have to do again? Oh, give flowers to the traitor Angela. Oh. I don't have a high enough relationship with you? Okay. Uh, just just anyone else lost socks after you wash them or, not, or just you? No, it happens to me all the time. I feel like I'm always losing my socks in my dryer and I feel like they're eating my socks is the thing and that concerns me. Is it like a gremlin in my home? We definitely do need more packs in The Sims 4, but different kinds. I would love a Generations pack, a collaboration pack with Funko. Like, I need that. And you're doing good. How are you? I'm doing really great today. We're playing this like nice, cozy, cozy game called The Sims with Evil. It's a spin-off game of The Sims 3 that was introduced in the year 2011. And honestly, this game still holds up to this day. After like more than 10 years of this game being in existence, this game low-key slaps. It's amazing. However, there's not a lot that you can do with it nowadays because there's only one expansion pack and it was Pirates and Nobles, but it's great. It's on Origin and I think also on Steam. Yeah, enjoy your lurk. Have fun with Animal Crossing. And Jake, welcome in. How are you doing? Did you just invite over, invite over Jeb? The romantic begins. The romance begins. The flirtation. The vibes. The wonder. You love The Sims of Evil? It's so good. Like, I come back to this game every once in the blue moon, of course. And when I play it, I'm just like over the moon. The custom ability, the things that you could do. Top tier. Why, thank you. I have traded many flowers in my lifetime, but none, oops, but none has, but none has beautiful as it is, as this. You're the most kind and most enticing queen. As the early blossoms of love, I cannot see the other beautiful travelers that will come to Hopper Kingdom. Perhaps I can even start a family with one of them. But for now, I should deliver the resources to build Master Raymond. Yes. The graphics are really good. I have my graphics set on 
the highs of the high. Like literally the highest graphics you can get is what I have. I'm gonna skip all this, I don't care. Make some food, make some gruel. Make some gruel, I'm really hungry. But the highest is the high, but never the lowest of the low. Looks like I have some time to myself. I can get to know some townspeople and explore my kingdom or just relax. Ooh, I can take time for myself, which is what I would love to do. I'm gonna go potty, I'm gonna take a bath. Actually no, take a bath, then go potty. I would really love the Sims to make better swatches of curtains. Yes, I would love that ASAP. A medieval remaster, I'd be down for that. Honestly, a, a remaster of The Sims Evil? Sign me up. Where's the petition? Let me sign right now. Oh, okay. I really need to get this game. I'm itching to play it. Do it. I think it is like $20. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game is like $20 on uh, Origin. I'm pretty sure. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering if does anyone know if they still are doing a live action Little Mermaid? I think that they are, but it's I would call it at a I don't know. Cause I keep on seeing a lot of things about it, but I think that they're going to take their time with it is the thing. Cause weren't they going on tour? Uh, it comes out next year in 2023. That's what it says. May 26, 2023. Uh, let's see. You're going to go to bed. See you next time. See you next time. Be hydrated. Stay. Hope to see you for Among Us. Tomorrow we are playing Among Us with Simmers and Friends. And we're starting at 3 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to hang out with us tomorrow, we'll be doing that. And uh, Petra, welcome in. Yeah, they filmed they filmed it with a uh, uh, Halle Berry. No, Haley Berry, not Halle Berry. That's the uh, that's a different one. Haley Berry. Hunt a great bar. I'm actually kind of excited about the Little Mermaid live action because there's been so much hype around it for so long that I'm just like, wait, is it gonna happen? Cause I know they did a Little Mermaid live, like live musical with the girl who played in, um, who played Moana in Moana. <laughs> You'll definitely be there. Awesome source. You just got off of work at four. Oh, you get off at work at four. I might be able to catch some of it this time. Yes. Chaoticness is will be happening. Best believe it. Hunt and kill a great bear. Acts two citizens about life about Hopper Kingdom. Oh, I can do that easily. Easily I can do that. I have like eight hours left of that. So let's find a lovely citizen from our kingdom. I don't think they're, they're not even around. Oh, you're around here. I barely know you. This tisk. Among Us. I'm so excited for Among Us, honestly. This will be our fourth time playing it on stream so it should be pretty interesting i have to say pretty pretty interesting uh just leaving stuff from your onedrive clear up storage yes it does Delete your stuff in your actual oh no like like sim related stuff delete stuff in your actual game because something happened to my my friend's cc mods and saves it shouldn't unless they installed the game on their OneDrive. If they installed their Sims 4 game on their OneDrive and deleted a bunch of stuff from their OneDrive, yes, it would happen that way. But if they didn't install it from their OneDrive and they had their mods and CC on their OneDrive and deleted stuff, it shouldn't go away. That's weird. That's really weird. I have no idea what happened. It's so weird. Like, did they install the game on their OneDrive? Because if they did, that's a really bad mistake. Never do that. OneDrive is untrustworthy. 
Oh, they're dating. Oh, cute. Amaze. Amaz balls. Very good. Very good. Happy to hear that they're dating now. Little Mermaid was my favorite as a child. Same. And I also loved Aladdin. I think that there's a lot of things that Disney has done in the past that really has made the now better, I, I would say. Like some of the live actions have been okay. Not all. Some. Some have been good. Not all. You just let your, uh, your peach candle. Ooh, woo. So nice. I love a good peach candle. Nice scented candle. Very good. I was wondering how they're going to do Sebastian and Flounder. You can't have Little Mermaid without them. You can't. I think what they're going to do, because I think most of it might be under. I don't even know. I feel like a part of me is going to be, um, most of it's going to be on land, maybe. Is what I'm thinking. Most on land, rest in the water. Because if I look at the credits, they do have like Ursula and King Triton. Okay, so they're going to be animated. So Flounder and Sebastian. Looks like they're going to be, those are going to be animated. I'm pretty sure. Because they have voice actors doing the voices for Flounder and Sebastian. Huh. Interesting. What do you like about Hopper Kingdom? Do you like being here? Do you have fun? Hmm? What's your life like around here? I'm going to kill and hunt a great bear. You, my lady, go adventure. I'm always iffy with live action movies, but I you still usually watch and see. I'm the same way. Like, I'm not always too keen for live actions because they can go really good or really bad. And I'm always thinking, oh, this is not going to be that fun. We'll see what it's like and hope for the best. And surprisingly enough, some of them are okay. Like, Lady and the Tramp was really cool. Dumbo was cool. Lion King was awful. Um, Aladdin was really good. It was definitely way different for sure. I have no idea what happened. Literally everything is gone. They managed to somehow get everything they saved in the my library section of the game. But yeah, no, it wasn't installed. It wasn't installed in one drive. That's weird. That is very weird. Oh, I killed and hunted a great bat. Uh, Edna checked down the largest black forest bear uh, to its feeding ground, surprising the animal, and she detached the furry honey lover, lover with a single bow, carving out four choice chunks of bear meat to take home. I cannot believe this buffoonery. Let's go back to my kingdom. You don't mind Aladdin or Beauty and the Beast? Oh, those two are great. I, I don't mind those. They're really good. I agree with you. We gotta write a letter to hire. Ooh. Uh, to me, though, they, they have casted all of action Disney princesses uh, perfectly. See, now that's my thing. That's the one thing out of all the things they've ever done. The one thing they always get right. They cast them really, really well. And they're very diverse with it, too, which is I love. Sending this off to the messenger post will guarantee me an advisor in no time. I want food. Yes, my lady. It'll be on out there in a moment. Where is my food? My maid needs to bring me my food. Oh, thank you for the gruel. Ooh, turn up soup. Good. Oh, I'm just curious as to why nearly all the data in their game suddenly went poof. The game is unpredictable then. That's how I see it. It's very shocking. I always end up backing up everything in my game every three months because I'm always so cautious of like a game update or something bad happening to my game, you know? The advisor has suggested biting something to decorate the throne room. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Ha, ha, ha. What do you 
mean? Okay. I can buy things now. Be in my throne room. Domestic surfaces come for its storage. Ooh, structural. I want to put this, delete that, delete that, delete this, delete that, delete. Delete. In this one. What do you mean I can't put over here? Whatever do you mean? Oh. Oh, I see how it is then. I see how it is. Oh, I wasn't doing it right the first time. Wait, how did they do the, what, what? Oh, I was doing it wrong the whole time. Like, I don't understand the concept. Make it make sense. I can't see the chat because the Sim Evil is doing some weird things with the window sizing. Oh yeah, I recommend changing that out. I always say go f the highest resolution you can do and then take off full screen mode. Because full screen mode is daunting. I was like, we can have TVs in this game, but we can't. There's no TVs, we can't have that today. I do, however, want a nice, lovely table that will fit my needs. Because eating upstairs in my sleeping area is uncalled for. One over here, one over here, one over here, right there. I want some chairs. I want to sit and party all night long. Domestic? Give me some Chaz Comfort. Dining chairs, thank you. So everyone can sit and eat food. How much money, where's my money? Wait. Oh, I only have 809. <laughs> I'm going broke, besties. I'm going broke. Baroque. The Baroque times are not trusting today. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Oh, Lady Spartacus, welcome in. EA should re-release the Sims 3 collection for free, like they did for The Sims 2. I feel you on that. I could be, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that. Make it more optimized. Runs better. I'd be down for a good uh, revamp of Sims 3. The Sims 3 Ultimate Collection, all packs. Not including Katy Perry Sweet Treats. I don't know, something about Katy Perry's Sweet Treats was just off to me. I don't even own that pack. I own everything else but that one. You need to re-download this. Do it. Do it. Do it. We need to declare throne room open. I have to listen to people's problems. Oh no, I guess so, I guess I will. I was sleeping, declare the throne room open. I hereby decree the throne room open. Come one, come all, let me listen to your complaints, your problems, your issues. She looks annoyed, she looks annoyed. You're gonna have us, uh, have us broke on sim stuff. <laughs> Honestly, though, I feel like the Sims can do so great, but we all would go broke. If the Sims 3 had an ultimate collection, we would go broke. I would go broke because I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> I'm like, it's all in one. And then I would uninstall every single Sims 3 thing I had. Start afresh, start anew. That's what I did with The Sims 2. I have the, the original disc behind me. I would go broke if they had Funko Pops. If The Sims collaborated with Funko, we will all go broke. They will be rich and we will go broke. It's just a given factor. Funko's great. <laughs> I actually love Katy Perry Sweet Trade stuff in The Sims, Sims 4. Oh, The Sims 3, I'm just saying, I played, I love Candyland. Oh, I love Candyland. I have it on my CD-ROM. My neighbor's pig broke into my yard and ate my cabbages. My cabbages. Oh, it's a cabbage disaster. I demand Re recompense 
for two cabbages I lost? Two cabbages, really? Really? Dear me, how the kingdom will survive after the loss of two whole cabbages? Get out of here, solve your own problems. I want to be a good one, so I'm going to say, okay, fine, whatever. Yeah. If I want to be reelected and not overthrown, I might as well be nice. <laughs> Did anyone see the new Sonic trailer? I haven't seen it, but I have heard good things about it. I seek a new, I seek to start a candy shop in the outer village. Would the throne be willing to finance my endeavor? I believe it'll bring much happiness to the kingdom. 500. I have 976 simoles. Um, denied. Bye. <laughs> Not the cabbages. Subject Danny, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing good. Welcome in. But yeah, the new Sonic trailer is going to be, uh, or movie, is going to be great. I saw the first Sonic movie and I loved it. I love Sonic. So the fact that they're making another one pleases me. Because aren't they adding in like new people into, um, like, aren't they adding in like knuckles into this one? My neighbor has trimmed his shrubs into rude and vulgar shapes. Oh. I seek permission to burn them to the ground with fire. <laughs> Either light it up or fire seems bad. Fire is a good tool. It's both powerful and completely under our control. I will allow this. There is no law that strictly for forbids fulgur shibbery, not unless it portrays the matriarch in a negative light. Permission must be denied. I'm going to say light it up. Wonderful. I shall fetch my good torches from storage. I can't. <laughs> my neighbor's pig broke into my yard. More cabbages? Fine. I'm so happy. My gold may, may replace my cabbages, but your actions have restored my faith in justice. Yee. A tails and, and a knuckle sets, right? Those are my two favorites. I love them both. I'm ruined. A freak frost suddenly uh, descended on my farm and destroyed all my tomatoes. Why does this keep happening to me? Well, if you don't like it to grow something else, um, I would hate to go without our world famous tomatoes. Perhaps this little goat will help you recover from your losses. It's lesson time. <laughs> a good farmer must prepare for the lean years, unnatural disasters, even of blizzardy localized ones such as yours are bound to happen. Next year, your crops will be stronger. Learn something from this. Even you won't help me. I'm ruined. <laughs> I'm ruined. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Oh, I could have, I got to view my political situations. Oh me, oh my. Also, all my stuff is going to be gone. I could write two new laws in two hours. I'm going to write my laws first to get that out of the way. Right, write another one. Good. We go. Responsibilities are good. Nope. New political situations. <gasps> okay, besties. I got to go early. I got to go kind of early today. All good. All good, Hobie. Totally okay. Thank you for hanging out with us today, though. We'll see you next time, hopefully, for some Among Us chaos tomorrow on the stream of live on the Twitch. This is very interesting. This is your kingdom, the seat of the Jorgen Empire. Decide, wait, decide for greatness or not. Oh, destined for greatness. I honestly would love to visit these two other kingdoms, but also I want to set them on fire at the same time. As Hopper Kingdom expands, so will the number of territories I can explore. Seeking, wait, speaking of expanding, I wonder if Bill G Master Raymond has finished taking inventory of the resources. Ooh, Raymond, give me your predictions. What will we have today for our future of the kingdom? What will you build, your highness? Ooh, level three. 
a matriarch is a sole ruler of the land. Great responsibilities fall on the Sim as his or her leadership and decisions affect everyone in the kingdom. This was very pre before pronouns. Ooh, as a renowned hopper kingdom grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Hopper Kingdom found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign, I almost said degenerates, I can't. So with the flurry of activity and peasant growing, the Grand Reception Hall has finally unveiled the Reception Hall of Terra. Oh. I have never seen this before in my life. Well-being, security, culture, and knowledge. Wow. I've never seen that before in my life. Well, we have so much we can do now. A spy's quarters. Or watch's pavilion. You know, they did say they needed a church to, you know, bury these lovely people down in the ground. Because they were, uh, they've died. I think we're going to go and get the uh, Peter and Faith one. I'm going to furnish it. Get this one out the way. I want to make one. I want to make it a priest. Ooh. Wait. Why does she low-key kind of look like Bella Goth to me? I'm going to name you Bella Goth. I love how the world works in this game. It's so simple and so great at the same time that I love it. I love how detailed this game can get, especially like with the whole, whole idea of um the buildings. One time I completed the entire, like, the game. I had all the buildings and everything completed. And I was like, what else could I do, you know? What can be her traits? I would say Bella Goth is very entitled. <laughs> Imagine going to a church and having a priest being very, very entitled. Yikes. Um, hopeless orphan? Hopeless orphan orphans are sims on a quest to find their long lost parents. They're out there somewhere. I would say she would maybe. Uh, vain. Sims of the vein trait are, are the most beautiful sims in the world, at least in their own eyes. Now, why can't others sims appreciate how gorgeous they are? Vain, yes. Yes, and Abby, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Spring Squad. I appreciate it so, so much. Now, for Bella Goss's, uh fatal flaw, I feel like she has a very distinct flaw to herself, more so than others. I wouldn't really consider Bella Goth insecure, no. But she could be, I don't know, got puny, uncult. Sims lacking, uh, lacking in uncult muck up both precious and everyday moments in life with shoddy footwork, poor planning, and poor chosen words. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, wow. That would be wild. Hmm. Glutton, always hungry. A fool. Drunkard. Cursed. Things never seem to go their way. No, I want you to be cursed. Do it. Cursed, I say. Curse. We can give her this hair, of course. Give it a red, nice look to it. Her eyebrows, or I would say uh, pretty distinct. Jet black, of course. Facial features. Her nose would be different, I would say. A little bit different. She gives off Bella Goth vibes. Very distinct. Oh my goodness, Bella Goth, is that you? Oh, wow. Lipstick. Lip to the stick. She wears. Oh my gosh, I can't. Some of these wild. Some of these are wild traits. Oh, I agree. Some wild traits for a priest. 
a priest of all things, got the most craziest traits ever. Oh my gosh, she looks like Bella Goth. I cannot unsee it. She looks great. Thank you. I actually really love this a lot. I really do. You know, back in the olden days, I think she would wear this. Maybe a dress. I think she would wear this. It has to be red, of course. Bella Goth iconic red dress. But more of like a rich red, I would say. A rich red dress. Yeah. Now she looks like he's going to go to a funeral. <laughs> it looks like she did something wrong. I'm going to keep it. But I want to see what the other ones look like in red. What does this one look like in red to me? <laughs> it's like she's done something wrong. It's like, I know what you did last summer. Kind of vibe, you know? Ooh, this is a very nice one, I would say. Don't you think? It is a pretty good one. I'm going to save this one again. Take a picture of that. It's Bella Goth. I know the Scarlet Letter. She brings off those vibes, definitely. She definitely does. The Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Letter. She is now the priest of Hopper Kingdom. Sister Bella. Sister Bella is her name. <laughs> He's level one. I love that. That's just so funny. Oh, we have so much more we can do now. The incident. The wedding. Honestly, yes, I agree with you. The Sims of Evil is simply just the best. One of my ultimate favorite games to play. Besides The Sims 2. And since war times. The Crab Bandit. A mysterious rumor has cir ha was circulating around town. A beast lurked be beneath the depths of Hopper Kingdom. The stories were coming from too many sources to be simple to be simple folklore. Was it th was this beast a monster with plans to destroy the town, or was it simply a misunderstood creature looking for a friend? They don't want to be my friend. Power a powerful ally. Aspect rewards exceed certain capacity. Additional aspect gains beyond capacity will, will not be applied. <gasps> oh no. Oh, I want to do a play right. I want to do a play right. I want this one. Yeah. Yes. You. You. Shall be the one to write all the plays. What's your favorite thing about The Sims and Evil that you like most about it? So we need to speak to a servant. Uh, are you the servant? No. You're Penelope. Where are you? Cynthia. Cynthia. No. Oh, you're all over here. I knew that. You know what? I recently found something the other day on Twitter. Someone recreated Cynthia. Cynthia from Rugrats in The Sims 4. And I screamed because I thought it was very, very, very funny that someone did that. And now I'm just like, hmm, I love it. An accurate representation. I never played it before, but this is, looks fun. It's so much fun. Like it, it's more in depth than The Sims 3, I would say. Travel to the village to welcome the visitors. Okay, I will. Yeah, I believe it's $20 on Origin. I'm pretty sure. Not gonna lie, Loki slaps. The fact that there's a solid storyline and just fresh world to look around, honestly. Oh yeah. I'm more I I more love the idea of the stories. Like all the quests have their own individual story and consequences. And some benefits to it that I think is amazing. There's a child. Darling Marcella. <laughs> Cynthia's very iconic. Look at this. Look at that. Oop, that's the wrong screen. Every time. Look at that. Cynthia. And then I made a comment. 
Cynthia, she's a really cool dancer. Cynthia, boogie to the groove now. I honestly love Cynthia from Rugrats because Cynthia can be whatever you want, wherever you want. And it's honestly just a really good vibe. If it's uh, the pits are fire, yes. I have a tendency of throwing people into the pit a lot in this game because they are always causing me more harm than good. They actually like furnishing rooms and customizing colors in the king kingdom and doing challenges. Same. Also, I love the wizard and blacksmith heroes with the most same. The blacksmith was my favorite. And of course the matriarch too. Those were also my favorites as well. But I really, really, really enjoyed the wizard. So I thought they were so crazy and amazing. I know the detail. You can actually download Cynthia. They made Cynthia for download. <laughs> And I downloaded them and I was like, wait, this is great. Even better, I'm downloading Cynthia right now. If you want Cynthia, here it is. No, the bard. Bard, ask for inspiration, please. Hello. Oh, look who showed up. Sister Bella. Bella. Where have you been, Loka? Huh? Where have you been, Loka? I can't believe this. Bodyguard Cornelius. We gotta greet everyone though. We have to greet Bart Niles and we gotta greet aspiring Bart Deborah. Niles, Niles. M Tell me why I thought she was dying, but she was mopping the floor. I swear, I always feel like someone's dying in this game and I don't know how. Pleased to meet you, Maximus, and this is my companion, Lucille the Lovely. She has been my muse for many of my best works. Thanks for hosting this meeting. It's an honor to be included in this competition with people like Bard, Hugo, the popular over here, and all of you too, of course. Please excuse my manners. I think that half my, gl my glass of wine is going to my head. Don't you think, madame? Mm -hmm. Don't you think? We gotta greet Cecile. Where are you at? Cecile, hi. Um. <laughs> the fact that so many streamers are quoting that now. Wait, Cynthia? The Cynthia theme song, is that what people are quoting? It's just so great. It's the best song ever. Get a drink. Get a, oh, gotta serve a drink to them. The game is what history nerds have been craving for the Sims. Exactly. I love Sims lore so much that I need it back. This is what, this is what brings me. I love Sims lore. We need it back now. That's why I play the Sims 2 so much. Oh no, Bella, where have you been, Loka? It's just so common. Twilight's so cringy. They just cannot not quote it, you know? It's just that good. Oh, it's Deborah. Deborah. Hey, Deborah. You want a drink? Can I give you this drink, madam? Deborah, take this drink. It will heal your wounds, clear your acne and your wrinkles. I have a save that I played for years and I lost it and my hard drive crashed a couple of years ago. I don't know what happened to my save file either. I had a save file so long ago and I was basically recreating Shrek. I made the tavern all green. The person who owned this tavern was Shrek. I had Fiona, I had Donkey, Lady Dragon, the whole shebang shebang. And honestly, it was the best thing in the world that I just loved. Continue socializing for one hour. I have to talk to these people? Excuse me? Talking to people is not my forte. I don't understand. There we go. I kind of low-key want to watch Twilight again. Even though I know it's cringy, I kind of want to watch it again because I'm a little bit curious. Ooh, let's write a comedic play real quick. You, Lucille, I am... Oh, you're hungry. 
Let's make some food before we actually pass out and die. Gruel. Give me all the gruel. A Shrek save, and since I need that in my life. I don't know what happened to it. I feel like I lost it somewhere on my hard drive because before I bought a new PC, I always back up everything. And so I never lose anything. But for some reason, I either didn't save something correctly or I didn't back up something correctly. Or I put it in a different folder in my external hard drive and I have to go searching for it. But yeah, Lady Dragon, because Fiona was the queen. She died from a royal duel. Next time I want to, oh, she's throwing up. I'm like, did she just call me a bad word? Rude. Um, but I think that there is one of my favorite things about The Sims for Evil, making things my oyster. Write a song of sleep at your archives. Get Aspire Sing dr drunk. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. You, you, and you. Song of sleep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I kind of also want to make Shrek in The Sims 4. Or maybe The Sims 3. I feel like The Sims 3 would be way easier to do it because of all the things you can do and how crazy it can get. But then Sims 4 can do it too. There's a swamp feature or a pawn feature in the game. And I feel like I can make it, make it work. Ooh. What should Bart Niles the romantic be dealt with? Ooh. Mm. Elizabeth, thank you for the three month resub using your prime. I am so glad you are a part of this community as well. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Can we get some hype and some love in the chat, please? And thank you for that brand new sub, that resub. Thank you, thank you. You never played this RPG, RPG. My friend, you must play it. It is a rite of passage. I recommend it to literally anyone. It's so much fun. Oh, they're back. It is eight o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna serve some drinks to all the party peeps. Deborah, you want a drink? I'm gonna drink for you. I um, uh, hope you find your save. I hope so too, because I really enjoyed that save. And eventually what will happen, we'll go back to that save if I can find it, because I think it's van freaking tastic. Wait, I don't know if I should have this. But it tastes so good. Deborah's like, this tastes so good, but I don't know if I should drink it. But okay. Do you, bestie? Let me make some friends. Ask for inspiration. Romantic bestow of fame for. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I also kind of want to recreate um Courage the Calorie Dog. But when Mu Muriel and Eusis were younger, but in medieval times. I feel like it'd be really, really cool if I could do that. Woo. Woo her. Woo. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, let me see. Serenade. Oh my gosh, can I have a baby in this game? I mean, I know I can have a baby in this game. Oh, too soon. First kiss. Do it. <laughs> she said no. Oh. Praise her beauty, please. Praise her beauty. I'm going to woo her. No, she didn't like me, but still hate her. <gasps> no. She hates me. She really, really hates me. <gasps> You're the pit you go. I'm lollygagging, but it's fine. Where's Deborah? Deborah, you look like you need another drink. So I'm going to serve you another um, lovely drink here, bestie. You deserve another drink. I'm going to praise her beauty again. Reject it. R-E-J-E-C-T-E-D. -E 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 rejected. R-E-J-E. -E Wait, R-E-J-E-C-T-T-D-E-D. -E 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 rejected. Does anyone know what that was from? Anyone? 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 Ooh. I know you see me standing here. Oh my gosh. Do I look good, my dear? 
Do I look good today? Hey. <laughs> Imagine the Spears family's going through it these days. They are a little bit wild. I would say I've seen some clips from a certain person of Jamie Lynn Spears. She wild. Also, Luke. Luke House Raid. I love it. How are you doing? Phasmophobia. Luke, how are you doing today? How was your stream? Did you scream and find some ghosties today? I hope you're doing good, bestie. Thank you. Thank you again for seeing your lovely community over here. If you are new to the streams, if you are from Luke's community, we play a lot of The Sims here. And today we are playing The Sims Medieval, which is a game that came out around The Sims 3. The spinoff is on Origin. I believe also on Steam for $20. Recommend. <laughs> uh, but hey, Luke, I miss you. How is school? Hopefully it's going great for you. And I'm doing really good today. Thank you for asking. I've been just vibing, honestly, having a grand old time trying to woo every single person in this game. But honestly, it's not working. But I'll eventually get there in the end. But so far, so good. Played some Sims, a little Animal Crossing. The usual. And Louis Goldman, welcome in. And Dab, thank you for getting a gift sub to Luke. I hope you enjoy all the emotes here in the spring spot, bestie. I miss you and it's good. Oh, good. I'm so glad school's going good. Is this your last year? Or do you have like another year to go? Uh, did you just... Why are y'all slapping people up in this joint? What's they crazy? <laughs> they crazy. But yeah, this game, besties. If you've played The Sims 3, this game is a whole different thing. It's a spin-off of The Sims 3. Came out in 2011. And let me tell you, it gets good. It gets good. Buy llama musk oil from the village shop, A. Eh? Oh my goodness, fine. Yes. Yeah, so far we just kind of got started with this a while ago. We expanded our kingdom. We got a reception hall. We got the uh, Peter and Monastery Church. And we also have a lovely tavern over here. So it's pretty good. Last semester than internship this summer. Ooh, woo, so exciting. I'm manifesting that internship for you and the internship turning into a full-time job. I'm excited. What is, uh, what do you wanna, what are you studying in university today? And also, as you said, welcome in. You came from the raid, but my PC is crazy right now. And I thought I had to open, I had to open the stream. All good. Turn your head for two seconds and the sim is getting, the sims is getting wild. Yeah. It goes from zero to 100 in this game. Let me tell you, I tried to throw somebody into the pit. I did it twice and they both lived. And for that, I was very upset. I wanted to throw them into the pit and I wanted them to die. It was very, very mean of them for not to dis not dying. You also can have babies in this game and get married. The Sims and Evil is the best, uh, is the best of the entire franchise. Oh, I agree. But then you can't beat The Sims 2 for a lot of things, I have to say. Sims 2 Loki slaps. Slaps. Did I win? Take a bath in llama musk oil. That sounds disgusting. Uh, but okay, I'm gonna buy a tub. I was playing Medieval the other day and I'm living my best life. Very good. I honestly have to say that Medieval is so different. And I kind of like that it is very different that way. That it just, I, it deserved more love. It deserved even more hygiene. There we go. More people should play it, you know? Everyone should play this game, vibe with us. And honestly, maybe, you know, harm some Sims, you know? 
It's snowing hard right now where I live. Oh, stay safe. That's not fun. When it's cold and it's snowing outside, it's never great. Read a love poem to seal the lovely. Must contain at least one love theme. Excuse me? Oh, I have to write a poem. I knew that. Now you're making me want to play this right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> but honestly, if you have to go, I totally understand you get to lurk. But honestly, though, you should play in Medieval. I think you'll have a little fun. I had a, I had a whole Shrek save and everything, but then I lost my save file, and so I'm trying to retrieve it once more. And I'm just like, I want my... I want my Shrek save. And luckily, I don't have to work tomorrow until 2. That's a great time. Not working until 2? Sounds delightful. Your words are so beautiful and you smell like heaven. I've been tiring. I've been tiring of Niles lately. How now? Anyhow. Wait, I've been tiring of Niles lately. Anyhow, I'll let him know it's over and then you and I can have a little fun. What? <laughs> it's like, wow, your words are so inspiring. So amazing. I'm just going to go and break off with Niles so we can like shack it up. I'm like, what is this? Wow, you don't have work until three? That's even better. 2 p.m., 3 p.m., great times. MBRB, all good, all good. Oh, and besties, I recreated Bella Goth in The Sims Medieval today because I thought it just seemed very fitting to recreate her. She is a priest and her name is Sister Bella Goth. She likes to drink on the early days and the brighter days. Still a favor, please. I want child. Romantic hug. Ooh, wait, can I court? Court, 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 court. Ooh, ask the court. Courting. Ooh, ooh, embrace. First kiss. First kiss. Ooh, it's a working hand in marriage. Married. Here. You know, this is what I call a shotgun wedding. If I've never seen it before. A shotgun wedding. Oh, he, he just came out of nowhere. An officiator saying, I will marry you right here in this bar. <laughs> I cannot believe this. They are bewed. I'm going to buy a double bed actually real quick. Required up to, I know, I know. I want a double bed. Oh, it's like, I can't afford these things. But now I can. There we go. We had a marriage right in a bar. Shotgun wedding. We married now. Woo woo. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. Now there's going to be a baby running around on town. But I don't know. I want to hear the baby noise. Because I'm pretty sure there's a baby noise in this game, but I just can't remember. Oh, I forgot. I have all the things off. That's why. Because there's no sound. <laughs> the early days of Venice. Of uh, Venice. Vegas weddings, exactly. Is it bad that I forgot my cousin had a sister? No, not at all. He has at least, I think, three. No, two or three sisters, I forget. Reminds me of the scene, Outlanders. <laughs> Wait, pause. I hear it. Oh my. Woohoo again. Is there a sound in this game? I don't even know if there is. You can woohoo in this game and have kids. I don't even know. I don't know if it worked. I can't tell. 
Oh well. If it didn't work, oh well. It's okay. We live in the life of not knowing, and then we see it happen, like, oh, it happened. Good to know. Always so curious. But yeah, you can woohoo in this game. You can have kids in this game. However, I think you only have one kid at a time is a thing. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, we're sleeping. Oops. I forgot we only have... We have two modes. We're very hungry, but we're also very tired. I think I've had at least... Three kids in one go one time, and it was ridiculous. So many children roaming around. And the other thing, too, they don't age up until the matriarch dies, is a thing. Oh, it's, it's just a surprise? Oh. Well, then, I guess we'll see how that goes for us when we get to that point in time. If my wife becomes pregnant, Randomly, it's like, oh, well, there we go. Now we know she's with child. You also can get divorced in this game. You can't control the kids. That's also very true. You can't control them. They're just born and they're walking in like amiously wherever they want. Of course, you can like talk to them and stuff. You can view their inventory and do all those things. But it's definitely very different compared to The Sims 3. Game. Get inspiring bard Deborah drunk. I again. What are we trying to do? Get information out of her. I'm trying to get information out of Deborah. Oh Deborah, steal bard Hugo Popular's notebook in the village. Ask Bart Niles the romantic, the romantic about his his muse. You, about your muse. Whoa, Lestiel the Lovely has left me for another. Oh no, I forgot to announce that I have not, I have not the will to continue with this competition. I humbly submit my reson resignation from the Battle of the Bards. Oh no, I wonder what happened. It's not like we caused him to break up or anything. It's not like we're a homewrecker. No, we would never be that. Not us. You got this game on release and I thought it was like the regular Sims, but in medieval times. Oh, have you thought wrong? So much more than that. So, so much more chaotic. The notebook is mine. I, I'll just have to have a quick look over and find the best parts. Then once I've taken good care of the other two bards, I will sit down and repurpose one bard Hugo the popular plays as my own. Plagiarism? Copyright infringement? Well, <laughs> copyright infringement in the medieval times. Wow. You can't control the kids in this game? Nope, you can't. Look, there's a child right there. This child's name is Osric the Scrap. What? Osric the Scrap? That sounds like an insult, but okay. Um, I remember playing this game and I didn't hear the baby giggle, and then I realized my sim was pregnant. So it's huge, I can't. And you got Spirit Fair to work. Awesome. What did you have to do with it then? Did you have to uninstall and then reinstall it to get it to work? None of inspiration. Oh gosh, okay. Gather inspiration, please. Yes. I remember playing this, but I guess I don't remember that part. <laughs> oh, we have so much inspiration. Food and drink, love, nature, foreign land, sickness and death, money. Oh my gosh. Let me just write a little play real quick. <laughs> it gets wild. This game is insane, but I love it. You saw on TikTok someone who had mini, had a mini bag to pack their Disney ears, and now I want to invest. A worthy investment that one should do. Yes. Give me your money. <laughs> or death. 
I'm writing a comedic play about money or death. I love that. Now I'm going to perform my play. But I need to recruit an actor. You. Blood Scholar Vladimir, you look like an early traditional vampire who is drunk on a Sunday afternoon, but more so on a Thursday afternoon that needs some desperate help. You will be my actor. Is it still worth it? Still worth it even? I want to control the aspect. Yes. Honestly, she's pregnant. I can't. My wife is pregnant. Ah. But yeah, I would say this game is definitely worth it, even though you can't control, like, basically half of the game. I still say it's worth it. I have to pay him? Icky. This is the only Sims I haven't played. It's so cool. Oh, top tier recommendation. There's so many things on YouTube about this game. It's ridiculous. People had, like... I, if I can find it, I'll I'll link it in chat. But like a long time ago, when The Sims Evil was like announcing and like you know people were making the game and everything, there was like this YouTube series of so many different things. I think it was like a developer's diary or something like that. Like the trailers and the videos from this game was amazing. Queen D, welcome in. How are you doing today? Am I giving you permission to spend money? I say at this point, go at it, have fun, do what you must, <laughs> do what you must. But yeah, I recommend looking at uh, Sins and Evil videos on YouTube because you will be highly entertained by it. Trust me. Let me see if I can find that role. Well, let me see, Sim Guru. Oh, that's not it, Sim Guru Ninja. Oh, that's not it. Dave. Where is it at? I can't find it. Oh, man. Oh, I found it, besties. I found it. I found it. The webisodes. Oh, the good old dear webisodes of The Sims of Evil. I remember these things. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to show it on stream because I don't want to be in trouble. Um... Oh, wait a minute. If I can find it. Oh, no. Stop. Go back. Go back. Go back. I find this very intriguing. Oh, it's so good. My LP drew me, drew you in. I forgot I had an LP on this on YouTube so long ago. I want to like bring these like videos back, like the old timey games, like Sims life stories and pet stories and castaway stories, even medieval. And I'm glad you're doing really good, Queen D. We are playing The Sims Medieval. Oh, I found them all. <gasps> oh. I found them all. Oh my gosh. They're on The Sims official YouTube channel, apparently, from like 10 years ago. Jeez Louise. <gasps> oh, besties, I, I recommend you all watch these videos when you do. Wait, that's... Episode three is what I posted in chat. This is episode two. And then episode one is this one. Okay. So it's, it's backwards. Episode three, two, and one. Watch them. They are so great. Very fun. Very entertaining to watch. They're so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, I love the Sins of Evil. The webisodes are amazing. Oh, anyway. Uh, what did I miss? Cats are so weird. They sleep all day and are wide awake being crazy at night. Please, I can't take this. Please can't take that switched. Oh, we're done. Yay. Honestly, cats are scary. They remember where you sleep. They'll seek revenge to you. It's scary. Cats are scary. I'm more of a dog person, so dog person at Odaways at all times. <sighs> Good old water. Uh, I thought you did a, a let's play on life stories. I did. I did a, I did a let's play on all three of them. 
live stories, pet stories, and castaway stories, and I did a Let's Play on The Sims with Eva on YouTube. I did all of them. <laughs> However, what's funny, when I look back at all my videos, especially live stories, apparently I did the Let's Play twice, but different years, because I loved it so much. But I did. MBRB, all good, all good. Lewis Goldman, AR404, Marshall not found. Luckily, we did find Marshall and we did decorate his vacation home for Shorzy's. Servant Dimples, hello. Bestow a favor. Bestow a favor. She hates me. Ask for inspiration. I want to read her my love poem. I think she'll love it. She hates my poem, and for that, I am sad. Love me. Let me love you, and I will love you until you learn. I did a villager hunt yesterday, and I found Marshall, Flip, and Pietro. Don't tell Kayla about Pietro. We're hunting for Flip at some point. Like, I really, 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 really want to find Flip so bad. And honestly, eventually we'll find him. I'm still waiting on a, on a confirmation on something because I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something on Monday, but they haven't gone back to me yet for like a sponsored stream, but that might be extended soon uh, until later. But hopefully. <laughs> he gained ground with her. Finally, I want to praise her beauty. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't leave. Love me. Where are you going? Going home. Dimples. She's leaving me? You can have multiple kids in this game with random people, and it's hilarious. Let Lady Edna know you want to perform first. Edna. What if we have a baby with, with the queen? A royal baby will be born. Oh my gosh. Hopper Kingdom is pleased to be a host for the first ever Battle of the Bards. We need to thank Merchant Price Rybert of Treaty and Smithermaster Terence of Craft Hole for serving on our panel of judges. Sadly, two of the competitors have removed themselves from the competition, so we are down to only two bards. Our first place shall come from Hopper Kingdom, the very own Timberboard Maximus. Ha ha ha. I will win. Woo. I uh, had a bit of time, so I thought I would go and see my island. And someone asked to leave, so I hunted for a bit. And you saw Hamlet? Ew. Ew. Hamlet? Oh my gosh, she loves it. Ah. Woo. Woo the queen. Woo her. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're playing Spirit Fair now? Ooh, woo. I hope you have fun. Ooh, who is your favorite that you love on your island? Not island, but boat so far. In Spirit Fair. I will forever love a tool. A tool is my favorite. I love a tool. All my heart. Are they just booing the queen for flirting with us with somebody random? I cannot believe this. This buffoonery. Not the queen being a home wrecker. Not like this. Oh, everyone hates her. Oh my, everyone's booing. Everyone's booing at her. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Perform your play. Recite poetry. My play. My play play? Where's my play? We read it. Love theme. Oh, well, I don't have a. I have to make a new one. That's right. I make a new one. Love will. Oop. Will will never die. Oh, that says dead. Die. In all caps. Uh. So I. So I know what I'm going to have to do. Some of the income. With my, some, my income tax money, buy a new pair of jeans because the other ones uh, are really tight. 
and they don't fit anymore. Yeah, I feel like with me, my clothes either don't fit me or they're too big. And I'm like, I can't do this anymore. You had to be a girl. Faith. No. Susan. <gasps> baby, baby. Um, I honestly have to say, yeah, my clothes are like all over the place half the time. And yes, this game is separate. This is a separate Sims game. It's available on Origin and Steam. Yes. It's like, it is a Sims 3, but it's not the Sims 3. So you don't need the Sims 3 to, in order to play this, which is great. Look at our baby. It's uh, interesting. I'm gonna pick up the baby like it's an object, cause it is. Yeah, that's good. You do not need The Sims 3 in order to play this game separate from the game, which is lovely. That also kind of goes goes in hand in hand with uh, the Sims uh, stories we had for The Sims 2. They're too hungry, feed. Eat. Hunger. Eat. That's also true. It also runs better. Look at my baby. Isn't it beautiful? My cute, lovable child. It's so high def. It's a burrito baby. Wrapped in swaddling clothes. <laughs> Jeans are expensive. I hardly ever buy clothes half the time because I'm like, I don't need them. I'm good. They expensive. Perform love will never die after you eat your food. <laughs> I need an actor. The queen can be the actor, right? Recruit actress. You. I have to pay the queen money to be an actress in my play? This is baffling. <laughs> those eyes, those lows, those lips. Ma'am, um, are you good? Because you seemed a little bit crazy holding that drink. Oh my. Oh wow. She's still holding that drink. Multitasking queen at its finest. Wow. Leaf it up. <laughs> the quotes are very random. They make no sense half the time. American Eagle jeans, 40, to, that's ridiculous. Uh, my brand is a Walmart and Walmart only. I love Walmart. It's great. <laughs> it's what I live for every day. Tell Lady Anna that the play is yours. Excuse me. The play is mine. I didn't copyright anyone. Wait, what conniving? Wait, what conniving is at work here? I have watched my own play perform before my very eyes. Even that the character's names are the same. He just switched everyone's first and last initials. I've been robbed. I demand that this lean witted bard be taken into custody and punished for as a criminal. Me, a criminal? Never. What do you have to say about this, Maximus? To whom does the play rightfully belong to? Me. It's my play. He's lying. He's lying to me. It's my play. <laughs> Throw the drink, Queenie. Throw the drink. I will, act, I will not have my kingdom owns Bard accused of theft with no proof to back up. I hereby declare Bard Hugo the popular, disqualified from the Battle of the Bards. <laughs> I won by default. Love that for me. It's my play right now. That's right. I win because I'm powerful. <laughs> but now I have 60. No, 30 still. I can make some more stuff. <gasps> Ooh, King Bob Court. Give me. The only, I only wear jeggings. Jegging jeans. So that's why the jeans I buy are more expensive. Okay. That makes more sense. You haven't worn jeans in two years. I feel like jeans are overrated because they always rip or they're just not as, you know, fun. You know, they're just, they're just there. A piece of fabric. A missing child? <gasps> Not the missing child. The witch is back. What is this hocus pocus? Okay. A missing child. 
Hopper Kingdom was a buzz with the news of a child gone missing. Recovering the child safely would be, in be an incredible boon to the kingdom morale. Okay. Find I'm. Find the missing child any way you can. So did Timmy fall down the well again? Lady Edna. I will find him through the Watcher. Lordy Lou. I do want to see what Sister Bella can do. Since Bella Goth is technically a missing person in Sims 2, her child is also missing. Target Tarjay is expensive. I'm chunky and I'm mostly working from home. I deserve to be comfy. Comfy is my middle name. I love being comfy too. It's the only way. I wear my pajamas 24-7 because I don't want to wear jeans. And I want to be comfy. <laughs> if I want to wear my Udi, I will. Investigate disturbance with townspeople. <gasps> Not the townspeople. I find a disturbance amongst the people. Oh. Wait. Oh, you're right here. Hello. Have you seen the missing child, madame? I hate, I read that as I hate gens. I'm like, what's gen? Uh, I hate jeans. They don't feel comfortable. And I don't understand how people can hang out in, on the couch in them and sleep with them. See, for me, if I'm wearing my jeans and I fall asleep on the couch, that's how. But they're uncomfortable. 90% <laughs> sweatpants. Alas, a child has gone missing. A few of the villagers claim the scene a small boy hiding around town. Perhaps there's some way for me to help find him. <gasps> oh my gosh, wow. Pray to the watcher of, for guidance of finding the child. Give a sermon to inspire people to find, give a sermon, do it. The people need the faith of, <laughs> I can't. You are like in 24 seven. It's comfortable. What time is it? An 8 a.m. sermon. Walmart doesn't mind me wearing black leggings because I wear sweaters uh, with them. So they don't want me. They don't want me to wear them all the time. Walmart and their strict rules sometimes. Oh, she's hungry. We have time to eat some gruel. You live for The Sims and Evil. It's one of the best games. I play this game religiously every once in a blue moon. Because it satisfies my chaotic energy that I like to share and have on a daily basis. It's my chaotic energy side. Tortellini and watch a stream. Ooh, I've never had tortellini before. Speaking of like noodles, I bought like macaroni noodles the other day and I'm excited to make them tonight. But XOXO booth, what's your favorite thing about this game that you love? It's only 6 p.m. Or no, six, it's 6 a.m. Now it's almost 7. We have a sermon to, to perform at 8 very soon. There we go. Give sermon. Inspire the people. A casual summon. Ooh. No. A somber sermon. I wish I could wear leggings all the time. Or sweatpants, me. I'm gonna have some dinner, Wolpa Hunts. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us as always. We'll hopefully see you next time for another stream, of course. But enjoy your dinner, enjoy your food. They seem to be very interested in my sermon today. I used to not pay attention to Walmart clothes, but they look really nice. They do. Walmart's clothes have been really, really nice these past, like, couple of years. They've gotten better. And I have to say, don't sleep on Walmart. You're giving a class in person next week, and you have to wear jeans. Ew. Uh, wearing jeans? Nair. Sister Bellison was given a cold reception by people. Perhaps she should try again later. Oh, my gosh. Wait for the news. Soon I will hear back from the people. Inspired with the love of the Watcher, I'm sure the child will be found by these people. I don't think so. <laughs> Material girl. <laughs> love that. 
Cardigans are... What? Who are you? Okay. I agree. Their home decor. Target's home decor has gotten really nice. I think Mr. Kate's in Target or something like that. Someone's in Target. Some YouTuber's brand is. Are you playing in my sink? Go home. Leave. Bye. The watcher is with the people. I should check in with one of them to see if they have found any choice of the body. You! Hey! Oh, my friend won't stop singing that, that song. <laughs> Material girl. If I was a rich girl. Na 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 See, I got all the money in the world. If I was a wealthy girl. <laughs> you went to go to your doctor appointment and even my class. I look homeless sometimes. Me. Me. I look homeless sometimes when I walk outside. There was one time I actually went to Walmart with my hoodie on. My Udi. Not my hoodie. My Udi. And I looked like I was... I don't know. I would look, I look weird. Yeah, they say when you don't wear jeans, you look unprofessional. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Is that the baby? Is, oh, is that the baby? I had left town due to lack of... I had to... I had left this town due to the lack of religion, but I, but as I walked towards another kingdom, I heard a voice calling me back. Call me back to you, priest. Okay. You're excited for the tortellini? Ooh, well, tortellini, tantaloni. I just really, <laughs> ah, <laughs> to wear a bra. Uncomfy. I only have 10. That's not enough for my kingdom. King for a day. Family crest, royal holiday. Hmm. Heir to the throne. Lady Edna is having a midlife crisis brought on by the realization she had no worthy heir to the throne and no suitable mate. The queen would do whatever was necessary to have the right child. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet though. We'll do that for another day. Not now. Uh, foggy mornings, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going great. But I want to have a baby now. You! Hey! Hey! Woo! I shall woo you with my looks. A true queen! I haven't paid much attention to what I wear in a- Oh, uh, what to wear in a while? Me. I was saying, this looks good. I'll wear that. I tend to wear the same things on a daily basis, which is not great. It just happens. And welcome back, Louis Goman. Oh, I'm sorry that you were feeling sick, but I'm glad that you're starting to get better, which is good. Court, recording, recording. Stroke cheek, whisper sweet nothings. Bestow a favor, pronounce undying devotion serenade. Make sure you're new. Leave in hands. Can we woohoo? First kiss. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Woohoo. Shotgun wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do care how I look when I go to work, but when it comes to the doctor appointment or class, I literally just go to them and go home. Me. I'm like, I don't care what I look like when I go to an appointment for the doctor. It's like, I just don't. Class, I'm like, uh-uh. I'm just going to just do this myself and just take a nap. I will wear my PJs to class. Everything you own is black or gray. <laughs> my, see, my clothing is like everything under the rainbow. Like, it, it's weird. But I wear like the same stuff. If it's, if it's like in my peripheral of you, I'll wear it. But down below, I hardly ever do that. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's not fun. Why are you booing at me? Boo to you, Pit. Bye. So what did I do again? Uh, ask someone for the who and the what? You. 
Oh, we don't have a high enough friendship. Okay. My outfits are mostly consist of uh, band tees, leggings, and hoodies and sweatpants. That's what mines are kind of like that. Employees have to wear a mask at work again, so I don't even so I don't even bother getting ready anymore. <laughs> Waste of time. Waste of makeup. When it's just gonna rub off. Hey! Christina! Let me talk to you. Let me talk to they. You sound like shotgun wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm pregnant. I don't know. I might be. I have this nauseating feeling from an unknown cause. I have a lot of things that are yellow in my closet. Yes, I do. I do indeed. Quite a few. A lot of CC creators have converted Sims Weevil clothing into historical clothing. I have seen that and I am honestly blown away on how much talent there is in the community that I simply want to download it all and keep it for my keep it forever because there are some times in the world where people tend to delete all their custom content wait what what where'd she go oh my goodness what in the world but yeah people tend to like delete all of their custom content blogs and everything and don't do anything about it. They don't back up stuff. At least back in The Sims 2 days they didn't, but nowadays they do. But I feel you. Oh no, you're fine. <laughs> Why are you shooing me? I am with child. I am pregnant. I am pregnant. Oh, the wonder of creating a new life makes pregnancy an exciting time for most Sims. Um, a keyword most. <laughs> most. I'm having your baby. You are welcome. Have fun with that. <laughs> Have fun with that news. You won't believe how much nausea such a small member of a body can cause. It's, I would assume a lot. I would assume a lot. <laughs> How people have described it to me, um, it feels like you're dying. Most of the time. That's what people have like, told me. Uh, can never use CC in The Sims 2. Never could figure out how to do it. It's kind of like the same way you do it for The Sims 4. You have like a downloads folder and um, you just leave, you just put it in there. A simple two-step system. You, wait, I'm at, what is the reception hall? Uh, um, you just put it in your downloads folder. Simple and easy. <laughs> Get up the old eaves. I came up into the came up with my into the feature household in The Sims Three, and they're going to live in Roaring Heights and then travel to the feature and be like time travelers. Oh, that sounds exciting. Time travelers to the future. I kind of want to play Sim the Sims 3 again at some point and uh, go to the future again. Because we have a Sims 3 Let's Play that we do on Twitch um, that we haven't played in a while. That uh, some of them are in the future. It was the Sims 3 that made it all complicated for it. Yeah, the Sims 3 was like you install script mods here. And other packages files here. It was so confusing for The Sims 3. Once you got the hang of it, it was pretty easy. But yeah, Sims 3 stuff was complicated. Like you had two different types of things. The crazy thing is I did it five times, which is what is wrong with me. <laughs> you have five babies, what? One at a time. One at a time. But hey, you brought new life into the world. And I bet they're doing wonderful. The mods were a nightmare in The Sims 3, but I still enjoyed it though. Ask someone, you. I can't ask you. I can't ask you, but I will definitely become more friends with you. Okay, madam, Matt Tam, you, you. Thank you. She's Louise. 
While the bustle of a smortly isn't for everyone, there's always something there that'll entertain. They reveal in uh, Spackles and have daily tournaments and feasts. Interesting. Village of Luthien, yes. And thank you for the hydrate check, by the way. Thank you. Oh, when is the last day we can upload the new show? That'll be on February 4th. No, February 14th. Sorry. February 14th will be the last day you can uh, submit your show. One thing I never understood why The Sims 3 send your kids to field trips to the... Gr the graveyard? I have never had that yet. Usually they go on field trips to the bistro or the musical theater, but never the graveyard. Oh my goodness. That's wild. Ooh. I want to go to the village. No, Builder's Guild. Easier. Etiquette pass. The throne will support the family of any builder intrigued, wait, injured while on the job until the builder can return to work. Yeah, we do that. I love passing etiquettes. I really love the town and the clothes that came with the, with Boring Heights. And so I figured it, my Into the Future generations will make sense. There'll be time traveling between the 1960s and the year 2300. Yes. I think it's like so cool because I really enjoy Roaring Heights because I love like the 1960s, the fixed up for car. Like that stuff is amazing. I would love that back. Lady Edna took a swing from the, from the mug of the lynching ale that sat in front of her. My watcher, what a drink, what a, what flavor. Soon the table was littered with empty mugs and the night was still young. Oh gosh. What a fantastic trip and what delicious ale. I must see the recipe and re and regret not asking for it while I was l Lefantine. Oh my, was she drinking while pregnant? Me too, when I cried for reals, when I had to give my Sims 2 mods. Oh, I keep everything. I could never get rid of my, um, my Sims 2 mods. I still have all of my mods from like the year 2005. Like I back up everything. I have over 300 gigabytes of custom content and mods for The Sims 3 alone. Not all in my game, of course. Usually like backed up and I add them here and there if I want something, you know, Pacific. But I don't delete anything. In fact, in one of my households, my kid got by a brick falling on her. A brick? <laughs> I can't. Not a brick. Try creating uh, the ale. How do I do that? Oh, I need to go OP oh, here. You. Rue. The ale. There we go. Perfect. Brew the ale. Brew it, brew it, brew it. Brew? It's still brewing. Oh, we can't even drink because we're pregnant. The mausoleum is in the graveyard. Oh, okay. You read a BuzzFeed today of 22 entitled parents and what they expect from babysitters. It was hilarious. Imagine getting paid $1 an hour. Uh-uh. No. No. Mm -mm. Depends on how many hours. If it's like for three days. Well, what up? still not enough. Uh-uh. No. $1 per hour. No. They could not pay me enough to do that. I would be like, no, you got to find yourself another babysitter who pays, who would accept pennies. Because I don't. <laughs> That's wild. Imagine you pay $1 an hour as a babysitter. It's like, find yourself a new job. You have The Sims 3 and 2 mods backed up, but not The Sims 2. I keep everything. I even have Sims 1's mods. Sims 1 mods, I have... Because I think it's adorable. I kind of forgot that The Sims 1 had mods for a long time. Until I recently had found out about it uh, a couple years ago. I could never get paid enough to babysit kids. Not Now pets, I wouldn't care. Pets, I wouldn't care either. I adore pets. They bring me joy and happiness. 
serve a drink to your suitor. Yes, indeed so. Drink, drink. Drink it up. Uh, pass the treaty. Yes. Ongoing peace. And then we're going to do another proposed another etiquette. We're going to do a new law and then write royal documents. Yes. There we go. We got $1 an hour for to, to babysit pets. Sign me up. But children, no. As much as, my, as much as I love kids, too much chaoticness happening. So it says try the... Oh, I can't drink it because I'm with child. I cannot believe this. Okay, how long will I be pregnant for? I don't know. Oh, nothing. Everything failed. Wow. Love that for us. First romance. Love has bloomed for the first time. Could this be a real thing? Oh my gosh. I forget how long you're pregnant in The, in the Sims of Evil. Oh! So the baby's coming. Make sure Edna is at home so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. Um, okay. The baby's coming. The baby's arriving. Dun, 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 dun. A baby boy. I will name you Jack, Jack. Jack, Jack. Because Lady Edna, Jack, Jack. Incredibles. She looks so happy. Look at her. Wow. I just love children, right? This baby is absolutely adorable. Could not ask for a better child. High quality kid. Look at those eyebrows. The baby has better eyebrows than I do. When my five, kid, when my five kids were little people... Uh, where little people thought, because I w had so many kids, I would want to watch their kids for free. Uh, <laughs> I don't change diapers unless the baby is a blood relative. Exactly. It's like, uh-uh, we ain't blood related. I ain't working for free. Let's hope he doesn't have powers. Let's hope not. I mean, if late... <laughs> I was caught off guard. Like, what is that? If Lady Edna does die, which will happen at some point... Jack Jack will take over. Jack Jack will be the one, the heir to the throne. You love these emotes. I'm so serious. Stinky cheese. Oh, Sister Bella has fleas. She's stinky. And you're booing at me. So, um, pit. Bye. <laughs> King Jack Jack. Right, royal document, please. And then we're going to head over to the pit because Sister Bella booed at me and I don't like it. There she goes. Go take a bath, please. You stinky. <laughs> Look at the face. Oh my gosh, she's horrified. The Sims 3 Sims, like in this game... And also the regular Sims 3 has the most expresses faces ever. Their expressions were wild. Literally wild. Oh, she fell in. I'm scared. What if she dies? Well, we'll have to find a new pre- She lived? <laughs> she lived. Sister Bella lived. She said the watcher is watching me. I'm based on the Watcher. I was watching, but was hoping for your untimely demise. Not for your... You living. Learn, brew, and drink this. Okay. I will read it then. Bella's in order since aliens kidnapped her. True. True. You are correct. I've unlocked the recipe. Yay. I cannot believe this. I already have a baby. Oh, the other thing, too, about this game. Once you have a baby, they don't age up. Well, they do age up into a, into a kid after a couple of days in the game, of course. However, they don't age up no further. So once they're a child, they stop aging. No teens, no young adults, just 
baby, child, and adult. It's all you got. Your kids don't age up until the matriarch, basically the king or queen, die or have an untimely demise. And then the kids take over, which I think is kind of hilarious. So we are immortal. Those eyeballs, I'm not sleeping tonight. I need, ble I need to bleach my brain like now. Bleach the brain. Wait, learn, brew, and drink. I did drink it. Didn't I drink the ale? Oh, fill the pitcher. Fill it up, fill it up, brew. Oh, she's drinking too much, oh gosh. Oh, I haven't made it yet. Oh, I need honey, spices, and wheat. So I need to go to the market. Let's go to the town shop. Get honey, wheat, and spices. What kind of music does mummies do mummies listen to? Rap music. Eh, eh, get it? Because they're mummies and been wrapped. So it's the rap music. <laughs> she is the queen. She can do whatever she wants. Exactly. She can drink all the things she wants. Give me all the apples. I need wheat. And then I also need spices. So this will be the last quest that we'll do for tonight. We'll definitely adventure into this furthermore, of course, down the line. I always have a joke. I always do a joke. They're the best. Oh, I agree. I got a potion. Ooh, hello. I am. Um, uh, you're boo. They booed at me. <gasps> gosh no oh I got knocked out I thought I died I thought I died <laughs> I've just been knocked out and now I'm in the ground literally I am the ground you have an African fantail gecko and his tail is sticking out uh the hide is super cute oh Hopefully Shrek Medieval save will turn up. I hope so, because I really miss my Shrek save. We've gotten so far in that save file that I got to continue it, you know? I am the ground. The groundskeeper, that is. <laughs> I need to take a nap. Wait, did I not get all the stuff? I have honey. Did I not buy it? Oh, no, I bought apples. Oh, I bought apples instead of honey. They look the same to me. Let's go back to the village shop bay. Shop bay for a sharp pay. We're also very tired because we get knocked out. Oh, you know, the hide. Ah, uh, the hide, not the hid. Give them some honey. I want four. Thank you. I will drink the ale until the end of time. All the ale I can drink will bring me so much joy. I actually kind of forgot how many kids I can have in this game. Like I really wish it was a family tree because the amount of kids you can have in this game is ridiculous. But I don't know how many kids you can have in like this, you know, current quest. I do need to buy a bed for my child because they have nowhere to sleep at all. So they have a bed now. But actually my baby is downstairs. <laughs> my baby's downstairs where they're not supposed to be. So they'll be upstairs, actually. There we go. Home sweet home, bestie. Home sweet home. There we go. Cuddle my baby. We're going to get a drink. You learn this. She passed out. She passed out. Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. What a great reward at the end of a grand vacation. I should write a proper note to thank the Academy. Oh my gosh. I would like to thank the Academy for all the recipes it gave me. Feed the baby, love the baby, 
cuddle the baby. Feed the baby. There we go. Jack, Jack is no longer angry. I'm going to write a, a letter of thanks. She passed. The family tree would be really nice for this game. It would be, uh, it'd be really nice to know who it, all your sim spawns are. True. Because in medieval times, you just don't know who had a kid with who. There was no form of, uh, there was no pregnancy test back then. I don't think. Jack Jack is growing up. Oh my gosh. Wait, Jack Jack. Jack Jack is growing up into a, into a lovely child. Look at him. Look at Jack Jack aging up soon. Age up, age up, age up. Age up. Age up. Age up. <laughs> Let her sleep. She needs to sleep or she's going to pass. Sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Ma'am, the bed is right here. Go to bed. Go, go to bed. Go right here. I can't. Go to what do you mean? It's right there. Fine. Sleep in this bed then. <laughs> I can't. You gotta love this. Oh my god. That was too fast. You gotta love the Sims with Evil passing out on the crown. It's very hilarious. Out of the basket, like the bread basket, into the oven. Congratulations, Jack. Jack has now grown up into a fine strapping lad. That was too fast for me. Like, I can't. Speed 3 anything in The Sims is wild. You don't know what's going to happen. I'm glad there's a family tree in The Sims 2 because of Dawn. Oh, my family tree because of Dawn is so jacked up. It's not even funny. It's ridiculous. There's so many interconnections of the family that they're all related. Why are you thinking about death? Jack Jack, um, Prince Jack Jack looks dapper, honestly. Prince Jack Jack. <laughs> Not him being a full, fun loving, dedicated person. What? Why? Fun loving fool who's also dedicated. I cannot believe this. Wow. Love that for him. You sent me a TikTok so you can feel old with me. I can't. Why? I was like, no, you didn't. I never received a DM. Oh, did you send it on TikTok on TikTok? Because like, I didn't see anything. Send a letter of thanks. Yes, send a letter. There we go. What is Jack Jack about? The skull. He must be thinking about, you know, receive allowance. Yes. He must be thinking about, you know, death and the pursuit of happiness or the last and final demise. Oh, you sent? Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, gosh. I see the hashtags. Camp Rock High School Musical and, and Good Luck Charlie. They're so old. Good Luck Charlie is like one of those shows that you don't think is, is as old, but it is. And I hate it. Good luck, Charlie was like the original like vlogger. Teddy Duncan was the original vlogger that we all known to love. I want some fair stew. I'll have to watch it after stream then. Read war crime dockets. I can't watch them all. Oh, this one. Not read all mall. Okay. Read this one. Before it expires, read it before it expires. Read, 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 read. And then pass the docket, please. Go downstairs. Pose the docket. Uh, this one. Indeed, yes. Then we're going to write royal reports, sign warrant, send a letter of thanks. Yes. I'm not going to pass it. I already know it. Wait, call for votes. Oh, well, it's too late now. I know what Jack Jack was thinking about. Taking the throne after his mom passing away. You know, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. 
or, or he has plans to overthrow his own mom and take the throne for himself. It could happen. Jack, Jack, what do you want? Check the child's inventory. He has nothing. You know what? You can have, you, you can have some wheat. Take some wheat. Have that. Also take some honey, honey. Take that. You do that. You take all of that. How the fair they send shopping. Shoe. I cannot believe this. This is too funny. <laughs> uh. I don't even think, I don't even want to think about how old the TV shows I watch are. Neither do I. Neither do I. I thought I sent the letter of thanks. Send the letter. Ma'am. Go outside. Send the letter. Ma'am. You're right there. Get allowance? I can't do anything. I can't do it. Because apparently she's stuck. I don't know what's happening. Wildness, that's what I would call it. Apparently, there's some old shows that have been around for a very long time on Disney Channel. And Sarah, thank you so much for the 18 month resub. Uh, how's it been 18 months already? It seems like yesterday I found your community. Thank you for all the fun and friendship I found here. Yeah, totally. I'm always happy to do that. Spreading the love, kindness, and friendship for all our days. Yes, indeed so. Indeed so it is. This is bringing back silly memories of having to do tech work and get this game to work as a kid. 15 year old me on it. Uh, I can't do anything. This is weird. I wonder if I can move this. I can't pick it up. Not like this. Oh, no, 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 no. Control shift C, move objects. On, oh. Where are all my cheat codes? Sims medieval. Med evil. She codes, yes. <laughs> but welcome, welcome in. Can you use a post at the drift location? Oh, I forgot about that drift location. That's right. Oh, oopsies. I forgot there's other locations, even at this place over here. I forgot about that. Go. She's on the move. Thank you. Oh, those, those, those sheets don't apply. Those sheets don't apply to this game. I don't think. Those sheets are only for The Sims 4, but The Sims Medieval cheats, however, um, there were cheats in this game. However, they were quite limiting. Like we had mother load, of course. There was move objects. I guess I just typed in the cheat wrong. Oh, but I can't, I have to enable a cheat by using my, uh, by editing a document in my folder. So I have cheats enabled in my game. The Sims and Evil made it difficult to like have cheats in here because in order to have your cheats working, edit a document in your folder and then load up your game and then all your cheats suddenly work. I'm like, oh, okay. Welcome back. How was Encanto? I hope you liked it. Uh, so I looked up how people did pregnancy tests in the medieval period. Uh, <laughs> they would have urine and, and fail and put a needle there and the urine turns red. They wouldn't know if they're pregnant. Interesting. Huh. Well then. That sounds like a fun time, but that sounds like, that's actually kind of interesting and very cool. Sounds way easier than waiting three minutes, you know? <laughs> I want to mark it. And also, I'm I am very smart. How are you doing today? Welcome in. I hope you're doing good today. I think there was more. You was just put on grade and it sprouted. You were pregnant. Yeah. I don't know, things, times have progressed, honestly. It has really progressed over time. It has gotten like less complicated, of course. But, yeah. 
My kingdom. You, play, you hate playing as merchants in this game? So do I. Like, playing as merchants is boring. But I do love playing as, like, the physician or, you know, the, uh, the, the wizard or the smithery. Like, one of those three are, like, my favorites. Or the tavern. To each their own. They all have their own, you know, battles. But they are all quite great. Our achievements, we've done quite a few things here. But our quests, we have a lot to go on here. A lot to go. For sure. But we'll do those for like another time for another day. But besties, raise your hand in chat if you are excited for the clip of the day. Raise your hands. Raise your little hands, besties. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Uh, I heard animals can sense pregnancy. Yes. I know that dogs can sense cancer, which is scary. Because I was watching this one show, Chicago Med, and that's how they found out this one person had cancer. It was so sad because the dog was attacking this lady and bit them. Oh, see, you know, I kind of knew you were going to, you know, use that clip. That's a good clip. That's a really good one. I know exactly that clip. Now you all can see what I see. I mean, when someone dies in the pit, it happens and it's very, very funny when it happens. So besties, this is what you're here for. The clip and only but this clip. Why is raise hand O slash is curious? So the O is like your face and then the slash is like your hand. When you, when you kind of like look at it, it looks like your face and your hands like raising your hand. O slash. <laughs> 24 plus inches of snow that's illegal yeah that's what it means the o is your head and the slash is your hand yeah easy easy okay this quality is poopy poopy quality okay <laughs> okay besties i get it now oh slash yeah watch this is she gonna die Look, look, Are look. Are dying? Look. See it up. What? <gasps> she died. Look at those bones. This would never happen in the Sims route. Watch this. Yeah, honestly. Is she gonna die? Um, yeah, it, this would never happen. Are they dying? <laughs> Feed it up. What? <gasps> this was back when I was in university. <laughs> oh, great times, honestly, great times. This would never happen in the Sims route. I think what I was saying, I think, oh, I said this would never happen in the Sims 3 because it never would. Yeah, there was no yell anywhere because I was limited on clothing that I could bring. And also I couldn't paint my walls. I was very sad that day. Living in a university on campus was awful. I hated it. I'm not fit for the apartment life at all. I really am not. I'm made for a home. I'm going to eventually buy a house or rent to own house, you know? In fact, when I first knew you, the good old days, wild times, my reaction was money. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really do try, you know, with my expressions. My teacher says express more. They were, they were way too PG now. Yeah. We're way too PG now in The Sims. Just a thing. Uh, <laughs> my reaction would be the same. I would like I was so shocked that it happened because I was baffled that someone died. It's hilarious. Reception hall isn't actually apartment, you know, rec halls isn't exactly apartment life either. It really isn't. It really isn't. 
And that clip was actually before I even knew you. Yeah, that clip was, I think, was 2018. Yeah, three years ago. Tw yeah, so it was 20, yeah, 2018, 2019, around, like, around that time when I lived on campus. So it's been a minute. Yeah, I did not share a bathroom with 40 people. If I had to share a bathroom with 40 people, I'm like, no, mm -mm, I don't think so. No me gusta, ain't doing that. You must be crazy. <laughs> it was a wild time back then. Wild time indeed for a lot of different reasons. Living on campus. Will I do it again? Never, ever in my life will I do it because that's just daunting. But anyway, besties, I think what we're going to go and do actually is send some love, some, some love, hype, and positivity to another streamer friend of mine and hang out with them. Kind of like to the stream, but I hope you all had an awesome week. I had an awesome week, Anna from Chile. Thank you for asking. Almost four years, indeed it is. Yeah, so tomorrow I, I I'll be streaming at 3 p.m., so three hours before my usual stream time. Yes. 3 p.m. Central Time, we'll have Among Us, and we'll go for like our normal, you know, time of streaming three hours, for sure, but yeah. The quote of the day is sleepy, me when I want to take a nap, but don't want to take a nap. Not really, I'm a little stressed, I gotta say bye to my cousin tomorrow. Oh, I'm so sorry. Saying goodbyes is not fun, you know? I thought a, an Among Us was at normal time. No, it's at uh, 3 p.m., 3 p.m., but besties, we're going to go send some love, hype, and positivity to my good friend, Let's Build Houses, or Nina. She's currently playing The Sims 4 for uh, building, actually, a 100 baby challenge apartment with HelloFresh. So is it misspelled? Is it, did I put the wrong time in Discord? If I did, I'll change it. But um, yeah, probably is. But besties, thank you all for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it so, so much. I will see you all tomorrow. Different time, of course, because we'll be playing Among Us with Simsy and friends tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. But overall, everyone, stay safe, stay lovely, stay yellow as always. And I will see you all next time. And let's go support my friend with HelloFresh. They're two boxes away from getting to 10 boxes. I mean, you can get up to 16 free meals with HelloFresh using their code POG SE 52. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> but anyway, besties, I will see y'all tomorrow, 3 p.m. And good night. Bye bye. Peace. Do 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 do